have a little there. Uh huh. Okay. Um, they have a, a little um bells on their front door hanging on the doorknob of the front door. So when he's over at their house, he touches the little bells, and that's him telling them it's time to go out. So I ordered the same bells from Amazon, hung them on the door. It's not working. There's something missing in the transaction. <laughs> well, obviously the other people, they're witches' bells. Ah, oh, you yeah, didn't no. buy witches' bells. <laughs> You only respond to witches' bells, do you? You're not that and and treats. Okay. <laughs> B e t e c t i v e s. Okay, I hope I spelled that right. All right, new video up, just uploaded. There you go, hot off the press. Zero views because I just hit the publish button. <sighs> So how's everybody doing? Good. Good. We're still uh still recovering over here at Catnip Corners. Oh hey, it's just like I went to the dentist yesterday. Uh-huh. And I thought I was just gonna get my teeth clean. But instead they did a whole bunch of x-rays. Okay, 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 okay. And decided that it wasn't going to be just getting my teeth cleaned it was going to be a deep scaling but only on one side and I'm, I would have been complaining all day yesterday except that my friend DJ has had a real problem from biting down on a on a um a corn kernel uh -huh. that was in popcorn and really messed up his whole jaw you. And so I'm going, okay, it's not as bad as his. It's not. As yeah. bad. <laughs> you say DJ as in growthy? Yeah, growthy. Ah. Yeah. I mean, he po he's been posting pictures of it on, oh. on uh, Facebook. I, too. I always I, have a friend who's had worse dental problems than you. <laughs> <laughs> Hard yeah. for me in to fact, do. Yeah. In fact, the dentist, I love my dentist. I love the office. That's real modern. The dentist is this funny lady and and good at what she does I think and she she was looking at my x-rays and she says you know she's I was telling her that I really don't take very good care of my teeth and she says you know what she said people kill to have as many teeth in as good condition mm -hmm. as, as I have at my age that and so I don't know maybe I just inherited the good teeth genes there's always somebody who has it worse than you uh -huh. you know what they well, say? if you're in pain, acetaminophen is the best for dental pain. They oh. gave me Cody, and I beg to differ. <laughs> uh, yeah, Cody. <laughs> I, or not? No, it's not. It's um, um, cocaine. <laughs> yeah, that works too. But that, that, is pretty good. <laughs> I hear that'll do it. I got two left. <laughs> I'm saving. Yeah, <laughs> other, yeah. Saving for party time. time? What's that? You just got work done? Hmm? No, a bit ago. Yeah, like about a year was the last thing I had. Um, I probably have a whole new slew if I show up again. Cass just got his wisdom teeth popped out. Two yeah, those of, are he gone. only had two that were working out. I got a bionic yeah, so tooth the last time. They it screws in. Oh, I've had I think I had that done. It looks so the, the one and only time I've uh, had medicinal cocaine. Wow, was that fantastic. <laughs> I mean, instantaneous and complete pain relief. Oh. It was amazing. I had a really, really bad corneal abrasion. Ooh. Ouch. Those are like hell. Yes. And uh, they put a drop of codeine in and instant pain relief. Oh, wait a minute. Did you say cocaine or codeine? Sorry, cocaine. Okay. Because that is that was the whole story about Sigmund Freud. And um, that he had a a little problem with it, but it but it was started out being a painkiller for eye eye injuries. It was oh man, it was so good. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me, I have to go get some coke. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Romero, how are you? I liked more. Pretty good. How are you? And by the way, everybody, happy mm -hmm. Carl Sagan Day. 
Oh yeah, happy Carl Sagan. Carl Sagan day. Hi Janine. I just said hello to you because I haven't Hi. seen you. Hi Janine. Hi Wendy. So good <laughs> to see you guys. Yeah. I went to oh, there's Carolyn. Hi Carolyn. I just saw Carolyn yesterday on Zoom oh. for an hour. That was fun, huh, Carolyn? It was. That was a lot of it fun. Was nice. It was nice. Nice. <clears throat> Eric, Eric. Immediately, we were texting saying that we thought it was really successful. It went over really well. It was a. What's that? It, the pass the torch thing. Yeah, and it'll I be wish... on YouTube. And it was just uh, Carolyn, myself, Eric, um, Shane from the Beehive Skeptics, who's going to mm -hmm. be on um, Kenny Biddle's thing tomorrow night, and. Daniel Reed, who Daniel is Reed, um, yeah. in West Virginia, whose birthday was yesterday, so it was like perfect. You know, I I wish that Eric would post things more in advance. I would have joined yesterday, but I didn't see it till after it was all done. I know. I don't. I don't. And then have when an he puts better when he puts it up, yeah, that's a really key thing about learning to run programs. <laughs> Another is that he puts the information up in like a graphic that my system blocks for security reasons. So I just get a blank box. I don't know the date. I don't know the time. I don't know, you what know. What the hell kind of system do you have? Um, He's in a cabin I, in Oregon, Rob. It's obviously my a survivalist. Son, my son is an IT person and he sets up my system. And it's I'm supposed to be secure. So he no, locked it sure. down because he doesn't want to have to deal with fixing it. <laughs> yeah, because it's an hour drive up to um I think it's kind of just old settings that he hasn't worried about. Um, but um they've worked well for me. So I don't know that he would change them and I could, but I haven't. Well, you don't know what so you're what, missing. What is helpful you that now. What was helpful is that Susan did kind of send us some questions beforehand. So we, you know, we weren't cold, you know, we could at least could kind of think about it. Before. Yeah. Cause it was an hour and there was four of them. So I was thinking, how are we going to get, we'd manage, but I, I kind of rushed you guys <laughs> and I left off the last question. It was fast, wow. but it was talking about Psycon your first time there, but Carolyn had been there before, but still it was fine. And so we just went around about how to get more people, uh, more leaders and more group people there and what we liked, hope, what we expected, what we actually learned and what we were surprised about. And it was, most people were saying that it was so much more fun than they would have realized. They also, uh, you know, it was funny, fun and funny. And that they, they said it was, what was it, Carolyn? They were saying it was more... Oh, they were surprised at how friendly everybody was. Well, and then welcoming. They, it was very, yeah. Very open and welcoming. And Shane was like, you know, Bill Nye's going to be there, but, you know, of course we're not going to see him. He'll be up on the stage. And then he's like whisked away in an, air, in an airplane or something, you know, the helicopter comes down. He didn't realize he'd be there, like the whole conference, like walking amongst us. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, Oh my God, that's Bill Nye. And there's Bill Nye over there. There's Bill Nye. Like Paul Offit, too. Well, yeah, Paul yeah. Offit, I think, is a rock star. But a lot of people oh, yeah. don't realize that. Yeah. You know, yeah, he I doesn't thought... have the recognizability. Bill, Bill Nye? <clears throat> no, Paul Offit. Paul Offit. Yeah. My doctor stopped and gave me a look when I said I was going to a conference and he was one of the speakers. He gave you, you know, a look? What kind of look? Ben and Eller when you... When you're at the bank or someplace, but uh, I have yeah, to get a new group of friends. Exactly. Because, <clears throat> what have you been up to? I interviewed Paul Offit. Who's that? I interviewed Neil deGrasse Tyson. Who's that? I have to get a new group. <gasps> of He's friends. my personal right. astrophysicist. How do you not know? Yes, yes but I couldn't. I couldn't come up with names of interviews that I had watched <laughs> that you had done. The Delancey one last week. Oh, I know. I, I had watched I that. I watched. Name. The interviews. If if we all had memories like Carl. Oh, yeah. Know. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, my comment was, you know, one of the things that we've started doing for our scholarship people as a follow-up 
is that we give them a complimentary subscription to the Skeptical Inquirer. That's a really good idea. Mm. Oh, you and were mentioned the, yesterday, too. I approve. Mm. You were mentioned at the very I end. hope it was good. But well, I was talking um, about scholarships. <clears throat> another thing was the the graduate student that, and you brought this up when we were talking before, who got there, and it wasn't until Sunday that we ran into her you know, oh, that's such that a shame. if I, somebody has a scholarship recipient, they need to be directed to go to your table. At least there will be or people at the door or, or, or let people know, you know, Jeanine, and then you can introduce people around. Janine, she's participating in my first timers article. So I asked her to send me a write up, which she did, and a photo that she took at SciCon. She has no photos of herself at SciCon. Oh. oh nothing yeah. she didn't take any photos apparently and nothing of herself i swear there's a photo i looked so i, I asked I carl to i thought you had one that. too but somebody has a photo has I no looked photo. All she my took photos. no selfies with anybody that she was aware of it's like, oh yeah she didn't have a photo of herself being there because she didn't talk to anybody but i know there's one because i saw it i thought but i saw one tagged. too she's not tagged but now she's she joined gsow so she's oh, she finished she started her pre-training. She finished that. Now she's, you know, in there. But it was like, oh my gosh. There she is. Yay. You have it. I Who's knew is that? it. Who's I is knew that? it. It's with, with me. Rob. That's with Rob. I knew I'd seen it too. It's, that's Carl, right? Hey, Carl, how come it, you yeah. said that you didn't have one? I didn't say I didn't have one. Rob asked you. <laughs> I told him I did have one. Oh, Robert, no, you got that wrong. I never said he didn't have one. I said, I'm going to ask Carl, and Carl's going to look. Uh, Take out yeah, all those scratches on that email wall. Email me the full-size one, please. Yeah. Can I get the scratches? Thank you. I'll, I'll leave clean the it pink, up a little. I'll get the it pink, to you tomorrow. Leave the yeah, I'll, I'll, make sure that's, I'll make sure that's okay with her, but that'd be so great. I took precisely one selfie at SciCon. Who with? Oh, I know. Carl. Carl, right? Can't we see can't it. See. You got to it. Oh, That's it's it. Janine. It's it Janine. Janine. You yep. are the only oh, one. Well, thank you. Feel? But there's a and, lot and of and I, I think you can Leonard. use those electrons better. <laughs> Leonard, there's pictures of you. She didn't even have anybody. Yes, no, there are there are a couple of pictures of me. And 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 I know I was wrong. There's one more. We can't uh, see it. Tip a different. Oh, oh it's me. Uh, yeah, that one. Oh, and, and she and did the same thing to you. She your, made. Uh, everybody's going to be serious if you're wearing a tinfoil. Everybody hat. had to be serious. It was so awful. <laughs> it was the worst was moment fun. of the conference. <laughs> it was super fun to be serious. Oh, I mean, I. Why do people assume that skeptics aren't a lot of fun? I mean, well, that's the first thing you think of when you think of skepticism. Yes. No, yeah, that's that's and right laughter. up my alley. I think it goes back to Susan's famous quote, which I recorded her saying someplace. Skeptics are no fun at parties. <laughs> no, people <laughs> say I'm no fun at parties. Well, I just clipped the part. <laughs> <laughs> well, we Actually. started. Right. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's, well, that's right. Actually. <laughs> well, no, you got to have the well. Well, yeah, yeah. sorry. I'm well. Mistaken. Actually. Well, actually, more more uh, <laughs> more of a gap there, Susan. Well, well actually, hi, Jamie. Actually. Hi, good morning. Good, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Damn, I have, I, have, it. I have something which um, I think this group would be very interested in. Uh -oh. Can you see my Chocolate. Can you see my background? Uh, yes. Aurora borealis. <clears throat> so thousands of people reported last week to see the aurora borealis in Thailand. Wow. But we're but, but we're on, but we're on the equator. So how can you explain the night sky looking like this last week? Well, you're not on the equator. You're we are pretty close. Close. solar maximum. Very close. I know so that solar maximum hasn't been good Photoshop. enough to get to Oregon. So <laughs> what can that be? You'll never guess. You have <clears> drones <throat> in the sky that are dipping hey. lights in the yeah. sky. Hi, Obviously, Peggy. alien chemtrails. Promotion no, for the me... new Ghostbusters. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, that's good. Photon rays, yeah. Oh, alien. Let me, let me show you what it is. It's squid boats. Last oh, week. Oh, they're fishing. Last week. Fishing. It turns out that last week is the peak of the um, squid season. And 
tens of thousands of squid boats went out into the sea. This is a NASA image. Oh, can you see? That's a NASA image of the wow. squid boats off the coast. Oh, wow. I and, would never have got, guessed that. No. And they use um, green lights. They illuminate the ocean with the green lights in order to lure squid into their nets. So there's so many squid boats that the entire country, the conditions, the optical conditions of the sky at night were just right to reflect the squid boat lights off the clouds of the sky. And people thought they were seeing the Aurora Borealis. Well, there goes oh. Pearl's category tonight cool. on squid. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's, that's okay. Big... I read up on squid boats. <laughs> there you go, Susan. Um, well, while I have you guys on the subject, uh, I don't have next week pills. I have Karen and then I have Adrian for bonus. Does anybody here want to take a swipe at next week? I can't do it next week, uh, um, but the week after. Okay, I put you in. Week after. Wendy. That's Thanksgiving. Oh, wait a minute. I no. take it back. I, I have to spend some time with my family. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the week after that, then. <laughs> I thought we were your family. Yeah, for yeah, real. So yeah. Rob said he was going to get me friends. Family. I was like, yeah, what? Family. I, um, do you know, it's confusing sometimes. My daughter was not interested in getting involved in the hobby with me. However, the first time, the first couple of times I went to uh, CFI Los Angeles, I dragged my little grandson with me. And um, and they had a library, a room that was sort of a library, and they had some videos, and they had uh, the first season of um, the Penn and Teller, the um, bullshit. bullshit. Yeah. Uh -huh. So he parked himself in there and was watching Penn and Teller, and his dad is like this uber um, kind of earth firster. He, and he he and he would he, he would do everything he could to to be good uh good conserver of resources and so on this episode of Penn and Teller they were explaining why some of the conservation strategies don't actually work so <clears throat> my poor my little grandson spent time with me and then went home and started telling his father why what he was doing was a waste of time <laughs> That's funny. Hey, so, uh, so, so I, I asked I asked Penn and Teller both if mm -hmm. if they had it over, would they do redo any episodes of bullshit? And they said most of them. Good really? answer. Good answer. Here's yeah. Mono. So okay, oh. so next week I will be here. The following week is Thanksgiving. I will not be here. So I'm gonna need somebody to help out with Thanksgiving, running the game, or we're gonna have to cancel Thanksgiving our our one. I wasn't planning on being here. Hi, Bill. Yeah. Hi, oh, Hi Mono. Okay, Jamie, I have you for next week, but there's Thanksgiving. Okay. And then so there's... Next, no. Next, um, Thanksgiving is the 24th, week after next, correct? Right. So the 24th is, is the week that I need somebody to run the game. Oh, no. I will be on a train. No, no, where will I be? <clears throat> I won't be around. I don't think I could do it from uh, New Zealand. Not reliably. I, I think it would be tricky because internet wasn't that good. It would be a different me. time of the day and everything. Yeah, we might have to skip Thanksgiving, you guys. Yeah, we, we actually, yeah, we're celebrating it here. And that would be the first Thursday we miss. How about we do it on Friday? Well, I won't be around. Well, but it might be easier for other people to do it and come to it. I could do yeah. it on Friday. I mean, not well, I need, I need game, somebody to like run it on Friday. He's got to open up the game and run it. All right, I could run it on Friday. <clears throat> okay, so remind me. All right, that's all right with everybody else. That's yeah. a great idea. Okay, so um... okay, so day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday. Black Friday oh, we'll be on a train. Also Native American Heritage Day. Mm. So what, what day, Susan, do you leave for New Zealand? I'm leaving on the 19th at night. Have a fantastic trip. Oh, I'm I'm I'll take some photos. Don't worry. If if you see I Amy Valentine, will you tell her hi for me? 
Who? She was so Who? Amy hey. Valentine. Oh, She's sure, on sure. the on the board. She's so gracious when I stayed. She'd probably with her. be there because I'm in Dunedin. I, Dun. I would think she Dunedin. would be probably, and um and also Cherie. Okay, course. well Cherie, yeah, definitely better be she's there. She's gonna be there because yeah, she's, she's gonna be part of my talk. She doesn't know it yet, but she. Oh, is she? Got, oh, we got both Mono and Mike. Look, Look at that, Mike's right? got a hat on in case somebody forgets his name. <laughs> if anyone ever. If any of you have seen that new Broadway musical, the Gutenberg, uh, uh, Gutenberg, the musical, then you would get this, this joke, oh. but you probably haven't. So, oh, I thought you were just disguising no, yourself. I'm in California. Brother. Is it, is it outside? It's a, it's of a Broadway York? show joke for, uh, people who go Broadway. Somebody said, invite me. <laughs> okay so so far <clears throat> for next week i have uh karen jamie peggy and adrian will do bonus and then the following week we're going to go on black friday so we will have we'll, we will say we've missed a thursday but it was we moved okay. it a day and then you i still don't say you did it every know. week yeah I'll it was do, delayed by a day yeah i'll do questions I'll do it at which week you want on Black Friday. Okay. Okay. So it's 10 questions, right? Yeah. 10 questions. Okay. Ten questions. This will be my first time, you guys. I'm embarrassed. Oh, Hi, Kevin. We got yeah. both Kevins and they're right next to each other. That's creepy. Uh -huh. How am I going to tell them apart? Uh, one standing by. Oh, <laughs> one has a beard. So big. Oh, look at Jamie and Caspian are here. Yeah, wow. Good because Caspian has a category tonight. Well, that's good. Just me for now. Well, okay, we'll just take you for now. I might not be here next week, so Ooh. I won't be able to do a category. So. You want to come to um, New Zealand with me? Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I've been going to North Pole several times between Thanksgiving and Christmas. North Pole? What? <laughs> well, that would be warm. He's, he's bribing Santa Express. Claus. Oh, the Polar, Polar Express. Express. Oh, he's on a train. Yeah. Mm. Going to North Pole, not the North Pole. Right. It's his North Pole. Our North Pole. Every every uh, railroad that does the Polar Express has their own North Pole. In our case, we go south to the North Pole. That's bizarre. Do you dress up as Santa? I'll be dressed up as a as, as the uh, conductor. Oh, Rocking. poor! Oh, you Does look like Tom Hanks. Of course, he's, he's going to play the, the Tom part. Hanks role. I love the Polar Express book. Okay, Mono, no problem. <laughs> All right, Are you guys about ready to start? It's time. Let's get over here and get you guys in your rooms. I, I'm just, I don't know why, but I'm feeling. Like if I'm Vincent sick. was here, I could do a joke and talk about if you're a part time conductor, that means you're a semi conductor. <laughs> <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of part time, please, no, I can. I think I only got one round in me tonight. <laughs> okay. Leonard, you guys are are right. I don't think skeptics are funny. <laughs> oh my gosh, we went through on on the video that that's going to come out eventually. They went through and were talking about all the different things. I mean, George Robb, Liam <laughs> Board, Stephen Hupp was hilarious. He was with Snap Richard Wiseman. That was so funny. Who? Richard Wiseman. Oh, oh yeah, my he's gosh. hilarious. I thought he's I was going to break a rib. I was laughing so hard. He's amazing. Susan, mm -hmm. could you tell us the order that we'll be going in? Because I told Adrian I'd let her know. You're running the whole thing. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> you guys are going to hate this. <laughs> Especially since you have double hockey sticks. Except one. Right. Gail, Rob, Kat, Carl, and Caspian. Okay, so I'm third. Third. Yes. After a break. Okay. Well, Adrian well. is at a retirement thing for She's a close out. friend of hers, oh. but she is going to try and pop in. He's not retiring, is he? Action for you including new developments in the economy. Thank you, Jamie. That was sweet. <laughs> He's not retiring, is he? <laughs> Who? Her husband. No, no, it's a friend of theirs. Oh. People have parties? 
<clears throat> well, only the fun Unless, people have parties. I was Unless retired. you retired during a pandemic. Yeah, that's true. You did. And then you just have to go bicycle by yourself with a three legged dog. dog. Like, just (laughs) a dog. I I, I retired during the pandemic, too. I didn't know that was a requirement. I've never bicycled with a three legged dog. In fact, I haven't been. You're lucky. I made a mistake. (laughs) For for those who don't know, she retired. Janine retired, got on her bike, and she had this big field around her. And as she's riding her bike, a three legged dog ran and tackled her car. And her not bicycle. my car, her, my bicycle. Her, her bicycle, people and people are running tire. over to help her up. She's like, "Get back!" <laughs> and then you were in a cast forever. I wasn't in a cast. I was in a brace, but hey, but I will I'm never fully story. recover. You got to You tell the story, bit, then you you can make it whatever you want. Okay. I was, you I was twelve months in a cast, and. and <laughs> Oh my God! She had she to play. Temporarily had and... robotic limbs attached. It was <laughs> awful. <laughs> so Gail will be in room one. She's not here right this second, so don't panic if you don't see her right there. Um, <clears throat> room two is Rob. Three is Cat. Let me make sure I don't have all the people who are going to leave early in that in a room. Okay, and room four is. Carl and five is Caspian and okay go go check out your room see who's in the rooms with you oh. how exciting <laughs> try to catch up on the news <laughs> I'm so behind on things I hear that they're they had a um election Tuesday. <laughs> I'm kidding. I yeah. knew about that. I knew. And women came out and voted. They 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 were pissed, pissed off. And I, I keep hearing pundits and they get these women on and they're like, I don't know what's wrong with these people. They don't don't they know that women are pissed and they're not gonna let this go? I mean, geez. The thing that I that I started I you know having a fantasy about is that they're gonna Ooh. take away our <laughs> fantasies. Yeah, no, I mean, like the next <laughs> the Republicans will take away our right to vote. Well, I have a hard time right. believing that could happen. They they like to take away rights. I'm not disagreeing. Right, and they'll make it harder for liberal people to vote. Sure, sure. They can't take it away. That would be Is shocking. that your fantasy, Wendy? I was thinking, how much more far wrong can this go? Oh, please, because don't the, say because- that. If, well, I mean, it, it go pretty bad. Hold yeah, it, it, here. It, it it would suck, but you want to know what? I mean, like, I I don't want the Republicans to catch us unawares. Go on again. That's true. And that and that they did um like I mean really illegal horrible things, and um and like right now I kind of am obsessing about the neo Nazis oh. and anti Semitism. And then, um, and then now I'm thinking, oh yeah, I mean, like, how did we stop them in in these two states in in these in this um, off year election? It was about abortion rights, and so the way that they could think of to to um, keep that from happening again would be to somehow restrict uh, women's right to vote. That would be extreme. Wait for the burkas. Okay, so thank you, Wendy, for that. That I know I didn't mean to depress you. Uplifting. I feel so. I feel better. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so here we are. Uh, let's see what our team names are. <laughs> you guys, sometimes anybody watching this, sometimes we actually are talking about lighthearted things. <laughs> um, Hell, though. Yeah, sometimes Brandy, I made you co-host for. Um, you're in charge of the 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 troll hammer or whatever it is called. Nobody ever trolls us. All right, Brandy. Well, 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 you, have a, you have a password that makes it uh, difficult. Well, they could just. There's no it, password. You want to be trolled? Well, you just, just lo- like if you just click the link on the Facebook um, event, you come in without a password. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize. I don't get in but that way. I just I just have, have it stored in my Zoom and I and I click it and then it asks me for a password. Interesting. Oh, interesting. But you yep. have to click it to let people in. 
Yes. And, we and so you anybody. can kick people out really fast. Because I know, we but we don't even get a trolls. chance to. I'm trying. Brandy's to on it. Yeah. Okay, so we have um, Janine, Brandy, Kevin, Gail, and Mike. What you got? Helpilek Pakete Kete, New Zealand bird of the century. Help elect. <laughs> and if you give Gail, Gail can show you what the Pakete Kete. I already voted for the Pateke Tete. Thank you very Beautiful. much. Oh, I didn't know you could vote for the Pateke Tete. I, I would just vote. It closes bird. this week. Hurry up. I've never heard of this. And I it's the New that. Zealand bird of the century. People I can't see well, my bird. There isn't yet. Nice haircut. What's the matter with the kiwi? That it's I, already won. Okay, I wait, like wait. the kiwi, but it's not my favorite. I put, I put the link to this in the uh, chat if anyone wants to vote. If you want to know what we're talking about, you can go back and watch the great crested episode of last week tonight or this Please. week tonight. Oh, oh, John Oliver. John Oliver thing. I hear he's a thing. Some people watch yep. it. <laughs> okay, very amusing at times. He could be funny at times. <laughs> think. <that's funny. laughs> Okay, got it. So, Bill, Jamie, Rob, Alan, and Jane, the Jane in California. Where's the Jane in not California? Mm -hmm. um, Johnson oh, brings the house back to the Flintstone age, but it's not a gay old time. <laughs> Have a gay old time. All right, Kat, Kevin D, Leonard, Mono, Peggy, and Ben. James Maria's Orcas for boat zero. Aww. More orcas are sinking boats. Really? Yeah. Oh, they're bored or something. Maybe they should go over to the those to the um Thailand where the green did, uh, did did any of the Democrats in the debate uh yesterday blame Biden on that? <laughs> Re Republican. <laughs> Republican. <laughs> Democrats were not there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Very few yeah. Democrats in that debate. There Probably was, even, even in the audience. The Republican. Carolyn, Carl, Romero, and hopefully Faith shows up. Is Faith coming? I don't know. She won't. I don't okay. know. You can be a one in a million person, and that means there's 8,000 people just like you. Not so special. All right. <laughs> As of now, you can be one in a million person, but means there's 8,000 people just like you. Not so special. Uh, did, did we, hit, did we hit 8 billion? Is What is that about? Yeah, we hit 8 billion. Oh, oh man. man. I remember when we hit 7 billion. And I remember 6. 10 years or so. It wasn't that long ago. Yeah, it, I remember being an editor of Wikipedia when it, and I started in 2008. So it was way after that. Caspian, Jamie eventually, Kyle, Lee, and Wendy. Ivanka, oh, you do it, Kyle. I put it in the chat. You could say it. Okay, Ivanka's selective memory. Yep. <laughs> she, you know, Kate, you know that Holmes girl, Elizabeth Holmes, woman. Not, not personal. She has the deep voice that she was using. I think Ivanka has practiced this song. Such <laughs> I think it's a. I think it's fake. I bet you at home she's just like, "Hey, <laughs> give me another beer." On, there's nothing about that woman that is actually genuine well, you're right fake. everything that's about her is fake it's many 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 that has made her look like that and she, it creeps me out Ooh, what why didn't they spend any money on the boys i don't get it <laughs> yeah they both use the, gen. the, the I mean, scary thing is susan they did yeah that's the best <laughs> they could get them the eric said that uh ivanka helped him be cool I remember hearing that, and that was scary. <laughs> okay, so tonight it's we have help, <laughs> help elect Putuka Patika, New Zealand's bird of the century, versus Johnson brings the house back to the Flintstone age, but it's not a gay old time, versus Orcas for boat zero, as versus as of now, you could be one in a million person, and that means there's 8,000 people just like you. Hashtag not so special versus Ivanka selective memory. So we are in game 188, season four. Today is November 9th, 2023. And I'm excited to bring to you another game with great prizes. I don't know what they are, but yeah, just go with me on that. We have five people, five people, 
people running five different teams with five different topics, I assume. We have Gail starting off. You already have your powers, Gail. Rob, we have Kat giving her first ever category and everybody knows Ooh. what that means. Lay on the insults. No, no, I'm <laughs> kidding. Be as nice as you possibly can to Kat. She can't do anything wrong tonight. Next time she does a round, you can lay on it, lay on her. Uh, Carl, and then Caspian's following up with bonus. Caspian's been gone a long time, so it's really nice to see him back. Well, we can't see him because he's can't see him. But but I know I he's see his here. name. I have a psychic power. That's what says, you're talking about. We saw his alter ego in Vegas just a few weeks ago. That's true. Hey, it was in Caspian. <laughs> That was the one who has a beard. So that is the one that is um yeah. dark, dark. I can never figure out which one is the one when the when the Jekyll and Hyde formula is working and when it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> it is scare it scares me too. All right. And then tonight we have um Brandy's gonna be handling the letting uh pitting people in and muting the peoples and and stuff like that, the things that she does. Hey, Mike's here. I, you know, when I see your shirt, your hat, I think of uh, uh, Monsters, Inc. So go figure if it was green. Okay, Gail, you are up, lady. Okay. Oh, and um, look, there's Jordan. Hi, Jordan. Our first category tonight, as the hint behind me suggests, are famous people in their last words before they died, according to this particular website. Oh, I didn't oh, research oh, past no. that. So if that website no. says that, um, that uh, they did is boardpanda.com, and this is what they claimed was their last their last word. Oh, it could be anything. <laughs> well, let's ask Thomas John to confirm. Yeah, we'll have to do that. And because I thought maybe it might be too difficult to just come up with it out of the world, although they're all famous people, um, okay. I have ten questions with ten people, uh, but I have thirteen answers that I will give you after I give you the thing that you can match okay so it'll be three that you won't use but the other 10 will be on the list okay and, and, and no two people said the same thing right no not even close oh. and they're really i tried to pick ones where i think that there are hints in the thing they said which may mean that they didn't really say it but... <laughs> yeah okay god we come up with some strange categories don't we okay that was the idea as you guys are clever, clever, clever than I am. All right. So, um, Brandy, do you want to mute us? Yep. Okay. Okay. Here's the first question. These are the quotes, and then I'll give you all the names afterwards. Quote, I hope the exit is joyful, and I hope never to return. Question two. Where's my clock? Question three. One never knows the ending. One has to die to know exactly what happens after death, although Catholics have their hopes. <laughs> Not their prayers? Number four. Blank was a passenger on the Titanic. He gave up his seat next to his wife on the lifeboat and said, the ladies have to go first. Goodbye, dearie. I'll see you later. He drowned. That, that, one, that one is Leonardo DiCaprio, right? Yeah, of course. Bye. He was on, a, he was on something else. One last drink, please. Six. 
Die, my dear? Why, that's the last thing I'll do. Seven, Blank was on his way to the bathroom when his fiancée told him, don't fall asleep in there. Eight. Blank, also on the Titanic, just before the ship sank, well, boys, do your best for the women and children and look out for yourselves. Number nine. My God, what's happened? And 10. Blank was laying on his deathbed when his daughter suggested that if he lay on his side, he could breathe easier. He said, a dying man can do nothing easily. Ooh, that's eloquent. Now, they're all people that I'm sure you've heard of, and you may even have some ideas already, and hopefully the ideas you have already will be on this list. Oh, that'll help. Yeah. Remember, there are 13 names on the list, and they're with letters. So just match the letter to the to the number, right? A is Frida Kahlo. B is Jack Daniel. C is Alfred Hitchcock. D is George Harrison. E is Joan Crawford. F is John Jacob Astor IV. G is Steve Jobs. H is Princess Diana. I is Edward Smith. J is Benjamin Franklin. K is Groucho Marx, L is Elvis Presley, and M is Salvador Dali. So if the names that you thought of were there, you're in good shape to start. Good idea. All right. No, this looks really good. Very different. Okay, then let's open the breakout rooms. Good luck. Okay, here we go. Who's missing? Oh, Deborah. Hi, Deborah. So we'll put you over here where everybody else is kind of. Put you in room. You could be one of a, one of a million people right now. So I'll put you in there. Yeah. There's several in here I think I know. So go for it, you guys, and maybe I can agree with you. Wait, what happened to uh, Kevin? Which Kevin? It was on Doctor. our team. Oh, he usually his uh, computer resets at, on an hour. So he'll be right back because his computer resets. At, here he is. Oh, no, it's Caspian. They just. <coughs> Seven is probably Elvis because he died on the toilet. Yeah, that's what I was I thinking. Was thinking too. Uh, you missed it. I said, uh, Susan, do you Jacob you Astor was on the Titanic. Yeah. What, Gail? I want to, if you want me to admit him. You muted yourself. What? I, I was asking if you wanted me to admit Cassian, but I guess you already Oh, did. yeah, I take care of it. I can, I can do it. So, oh, okay. So you, let me, let me get the little chat up so I can pull mine up. And my so chat is is um, I don't think Princess Di ever said anything. She yeah. might've groaned and said something. She was just, ah. I think so. <laughs> and I know that the Aster, the fourth was the guy on the Titanic. Um, we have two on the Titanic, right? Round. Was He's Alfred done. Hitchcock the one that said, um, die, my darling, that, well, that's the last thing I'll do? 
Sounds good to me. Okay, the the one who gave up his, his seat to his wife was John Jacob Astor. Yeah. Um Oh, wait, there's two on the Titanic. Yeah, there's I know, but it's, it's, it's four because he had his wife with him. Groucho Marx was not on the Titanic. No, <laughs> but he would probably have been four, five one, or um, ten. No, he, that's too, too eloquent. Maybe Salvador Dali is number two because he's known for the melting cloud. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Groucho could have could replace Alfred Hitchcock. Here comes Kevin. Here's Kevin. You might have to give him his um his things. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back, you guys. You were not a good girl, were you? Did anyone, um, maybe one is free to <clears throat> did anyone capture all the questions and answers? I had oh, to, reboot. I'm sorry, I I'm had to, blind, blind. I normally do, but I didn't this time. I have the, I have the answers, I can put them in. I think I have them right here in the copy and paste. So, those are our choices. And it's famous last words. Did you famous people in their last words? Did you get that part? Yeah, but I only got uh, bits and pieces of it, and then I, my computer rebooted. Computer rebooted. Okay. One is I hope the exit is joyful and hope never to return. I thought that might be A. What do you think? Frida Kahlo? I don't know. Yeah, Number but it could be, it could be J K R M. Okay, I'm back. What do we miss? You're right. It could be. Okay, which one? We haven't done any yet. I don't. I don't have the um. I, yeah, you guys. I said you got to get quotes. Them. I don't yeah. have them either. Okay, hold on. I can copy them. Here they in. are. Here they are. Calm down. Oh. Okay. Let me give you. Yeah, a we got the answers. I don't have the quotes. Okay, I'll give them to you right now. Hold on. Okie doke. One, two, three. Six. Who sounds like like M? Yeah, I think we got that one. To a Salvador Dali. Okay, yeah, let's see. Do those famous paintings with the dripping clocks. Mm -hmm. Yep. So the guy on his deathbed. Me too, Brandy. I got my blankie. <laughs> um. Nobody probably breathe easier. Steve Jobs and Ben Franklin. Three sounds like more like Groucho Marx. What do you think? I th I thought Groucho Marx. I think to be six. six. I think six is Groucho. Yeah, that could be. Oh, that's good. I like. Yeah, that. Okay, let's put him. Steve Jobs. What do you think? Oh well, so not everybody's on here. Yeah. So yeah, it'd probably be better to more. go with uh one last drink, please, would be I don't know. Who's Edward Smith? I have no idea. Probably the other guy on the Titanic, number eight, then. That sounds good. 
Because we know nobody else was on the Titanic, so it must be him. My God. Edward Smith was one of the lawyers for H and R Block, and he got hit by a car by like a well-known Arizona DJ. Maybe he's number nine. So that that one is oh. my aunt's father. Oh. So you think that's nine? Edward Smith? Okay, then who would be the other person on the on the Titanic? Would that be Jack Daniel? Because there wasn't anybody else. Who was F? Who was that? That is definitely he was on the Titanic, but he's not he's the one who was uh F is number four. So I'm gonna put Jack Daniel for number eight. Because, uh, you know, how many other people could be there? Okay. Oh, we don't have much time. <laughs> okay, so one is, so we need one, three, and ten. And five. And our scorekeeper. Five, I, oh, and five. Hurry up, you guys. Alfred Hitchcock probably. Well, see, Jack five. Daniel could be one, five. No, no, eight is five. Okay. It has to be because there's no other, I mean, yeah, okay. okay. So there's Let's two go. people on the Titanic, and we don't know who Jack, well, Jack Daniels is. A, is a... We got 84 seconds. Um, what did we say three is? I don't have three. One never knows the ending. Let's see. I thought I would go with George Harrison on that one. Okay, yeah, that sounds philosophical. D. 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 Okay, so one last drink, please. I think that's B, Jack Daniels. He he did alcohol. Okay, well then we have... You could put it for both two answers. We'll get one point, maybe. Okay, we'll keep going because we're almost out of time. Ten. We've got one and ten. Ten is... Um, Alfred Hitchcock. Hitchcock. It's a guy. Yeah, he Alfred was Hitchcock. Dead. That bitch is Hitchcock. So what's one? Ben Franklin. Good one. Okay, we so don't know Elvis's last words. Yeah, he we was, know he was on the toilet. We don't want Frida Kahlo for any of these, huh? Could be five. Well, that's why I thought that was one. Because she was always in so much pain. But Yeah, that's a good one then. Put that for A, for one. One A. Okay, okay, Frida Kahlo for A, for one. So who's who's got 10 of them now? Uh, that was fun, but tough. We were talking tough, but fun. About, it yeah. wasn't one that you could just memorize, and I love that kind, because I never can memorize. <laughs> yeah, that was really good. That was very different. That well, was we'll see how the answers go. Yeah, First that words was... would have been way harder. You ready for the answer? <laughs> First... First, uh, first words they ever said. Ah. <laughs> Dog. They all turn say off the, light. <laughs> the first word was turn off the light. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it so bright in here? Okay, are you ready for the answers? Yes, ma'am. Then let me share my screen. I because I got them off from the same website. I was able to get pictures of all the people saying they had mm. it. Okay. Here's the here are the here are the answers. Question one was Frida Kahlo. Good oh, call, guys. That is awesome. Thank you, guys. Good job. Janine got that. Sorry, guys. Number two was M. Salvador Dali. Very good. Yeah. There's my there clock. Go. The clock should have been. been, been, been oh, practicing yeah, that line. Good. Number three, yeah. Alfred Hitchcock. Here. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Pick the wrong one with him. We did the wrong uh, one. Oh. Number four, John Jacob Astor. I think everybody got that one. Yeah. Number five was Jack Daniels. Oh, good job. Oh, oh, good man. job. Thought about it. it, it isn't it an obvious answer? It was to me, but not to Susan. Obvious. Not to me. Too freaking obvious. A little well, too, too obvious, obvious, maybe. But we got yeah. it. Yeah. We weren't sure if it was too obvious. Mm. Number six is Groucho Marx. And that one too. I, I can hear that one in his voice. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Number yeah, seven. Marx, Elvis Presley. 
Okay, I now, that can't be verified because he died alone. Yeah, he could have been talking to himself, but the last time anybody heard him, no, it was the him. last thing he said. And the last thing his fiance, the last said. thing he was <laughs> heard to have said. Exactly. Yeah. Well, they're all you have to be heard. If you aren't heard, you but he was alone when he happened. died. He yeah. could have been screaming out. something. If somebody said he was screaming, help me, mother. We don't know. What that, the, that's not the question. The question is, what was the, his fiance said? It says that right there. Mm -hmm. well, fiance oh. said it, and this was his answer. Number eight was the captain. That's why I had two from the from the Titanic, and this was yep. the captain. And many of you. Oh, verify. no wonder you didn't say. Captain mm -hmm. Edward Smith. Exactly. I thought it was Jack what, Daniel. What what letter was that? I. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I didn't say I. I. Number nine, Princess Diana. She did say oh. something. Yeah, we were gonna we were gonna change that at the last second. Oh. Yeah, I remember that totally incorrectly. I thought she was <laughs> dead when they found her. I th no, I know she was moving, but I thought it was a like groaning or something. Well, it may have been afterwards. You know, first it's what happened, and then she might not have talked after that. She might no, have no, I, th moment. I think if they had been had been able to get her medical uh, attention quickly enough, she probably could have lived. So she she was uh, it was Dodie was in it was in bad shape. He was he was kaput. If she'd put her freaking seatbelt on, she would have survived. Her I, I have used right I, I, I have used seatbelt in his in his. Uh, if she had kept her mouth shut about the. Uh, the, the royalty she queen elizabeth oh yeah oh there's that i have used that a lot every time we went out for friends at work and i was in the back so you don't need to put your seatbelt in you're in the back i just go princess diana yeah <laughs> <laughs> seriously finally number 10 benjamin franklin yeah oh we got a mixed up hey i guessed exactly right team my, and there were three we yeah. didn't use but i thought you might just be curious so, Steve Jobs, a oh, wow, a oh, wow, a oh, wow. Mm. Eloquent as always. Joan Crawford, <laughs> I know many of you said that. She said to her housekeeper when she began to pray aloud, she said, damn it, don't you dare ask God to help me. <laughs> Ooh. And then George Harrison, love one another. I thought Aww. that one was George. Nice work, George. Didn't work. <laughs> Never does, George. Uh, he messed up, man. Nice background. Oh, did you see what Caspian said? Stop sharing. Stop sharing. Caspian said, those can't be Elvis's last words because he didn't die. He just went home. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe he did die just after well, he went home Elvis to the other planet. Who said, what did the fiance say to Elvis? Why is everyone not reading that right? <laughs> we did. Okay, let's get our scores. <laughs> So, Jamie, Caspian, <laughs> Kyle, Lee, and Wendy, what'd you get? Ivanka's selective memory. We got a six. Okay. As of now, you can be one in a million person, and that means there's 8,000 people just like you. Hashtag not so special. Nine. Orcas four, boats zero. Nine. Ooh. Wow. Johnson brings the house back to the Flintstone age, but it's not a gay old time. Seven. Help elect but I can't remember, New Zealand's bird of the century. <laughs> seven. Good average, seven point six. Right. Oh, on. Do we get a do we get a point? Because Rob said we would get seven. Can we get a point for that? <laughs> <laughs> Only if you take a different way. point off. Something tells me that's <laughs> not quite right. I, I'm not sure, but you know, that's how it feels. All right, Robert. What do you got okay. for us tonight? Okay, do I have my powers? But of course, for some that's, that's what's important. Gee. Okay. Power hungry here. So, um, <laughs> I warned everybody I was going to do this again. Rob's oh. interview part two. Okay. So, la right. last last week <laughs> there was quite a large spread from nine down to two. So we'll see if, uh, if we could do better than that. Let's see if they took your advice and, and looked at your stuff. Yeah. All right. <laughs> there we go. No, didn't. Oh, getting, getting people We're all getting all. I mean, something's just. Didn't hear the end of that, Leonard. Something's just. I don't know if we want to. Uh-uh. Okay, so number one, 
Oh, now my cat wakes up. <laughs> oh, I don't think you interviewed your cat. Oh, man. I interviewed this person for my Skeptical Inquirer video series. Anticipating Psych on 2022. They are a CSI fellow, scientist, author, and university professor on the faculty of John Jay College, where they are the director of the Cell and Molecular Biology Program. They're noted for work in cell biology, genetics, and popular science writing on the evolution of human biology and behavior. Their books include Not So Different, Finding Human Nature in Animals, and Human Errors, a Panorama of Our Glitches from Pointless Bones to Broken Genes. But is it John Jacob Jinglemeyer Smith's university? No? I don't know. What? What? John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith. That is my name. Well, his you said John, John Jay. Jay. John Jay. I said John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith. Number two. I interviewed this former evangelical Christian radio broadcaster, now a prominent atheist activist for CFI, in an article titled Confronting Sacred Cows. Their 14-year-old podcast tackles issues of religion as well as critical thinking. Their books include Sacred Cows, Deconverted, Confessions of a Former Fox News Christian, and Christianity Made Me Talk Like an Idiot. In March 2022, they had me on their show to discuss the Great Australian Psychic Prediction Project. Number three. I interviewed this PsyCon attendee and their child at PsyCon 2019 for episode 578 of The Skeptic Zone. As the pair were PsyCon first-timers, I also featured them in my Skeptical Inquire article, PsyCon 2019, Meet the First Timers. Number four. I interviewed this person twice, once at PsychOn 2022 for episode 735 of The Skeptic Zone, and then for my Skeptical Inquiry video series anticipating PsychOn 2023. This year's discussion topics included why homeopathy persists in having adherence, the threat of postmodernism to science, and the impact of their work on those struggling to leave religion behind. Number five. I interviewed this skeptic at PsychOn 2022 for episode 735 of The Skeptic Zone. They're a member of the Triangle Skeptics and were talked into going to this, their first PsychOn, by who else? Susan Gerbic. Their fall off the PsychOn stage luckily did not result in serious injury. Number six. I interviewed this rationable skeptic YouTuber twice, once at PsychOn 2022 for episode 738 of The Skeptic Zone, and then for my Skeptical Inquiry video series, A Conversation With. They had the longest trip to PsychOn 2022 of anyone I met there, flying approximately 8,000 miles to get to Vegas from their home. Number seven. I interviewed this person for my Skeptical Inquirer column in an article titled The Dragons of PsyCon in advance of their appearance at the 2019 conference. Their PR material notes, tongue in cheek, that they may not be as famous as their older brother, pause for comic timing, Steve. Number eight. I interviewed this person at Psychon 2022 for episode 734 of The Skeptic Zone. And one of the topics we discussed was the danger of falling for a romance scam. They were talked into going to this, their first Psychon, by who else? Susan Garbick. <laughs> See a pattern there? Who talked about them during her own Psychon presentation. Boy, I've got some power. I should put this to use somehow, just instead of talking people into going to things. <laughs> Number nine. <laughs> I interviewed this person for my Skeptical Inquirer video series, Anticipating PsyCon 2022. The topics discussed included the just released, literally the day before, first images from the James Webb Space Telescope. Their thoughts on the still elusive dark matter and dark energy, which they maintain should have been called Fred and Ethel. The likelihood of near-term crewed missions to Mars. And the sci-fi feature film 38, Future 38 
in which they appeared saying, finally, a movie that gets time travel right. And number 10. To my utter amazement, this podcaster identified me as a well-known skeptic, which was the furthest thing from the truth when mentioning me on their long-running show in early 2018. This became the facetious name of my soon-to-be inaugurated Skeptical Inquirer column. Soon after beginning that column, I featured them in what was the only three-article interview I have ever done or will ever do for CSI because Barry did not like that. So that's it. Any questions? Hearing none, I say go to your rooms. Jane's here, so let me put her on. Oh, Lord. She goes on five. But we're losing team members. Um. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to be leaving momentarily as well. Brandy, Janine, Kevin, Gail. No, it's it's still fair. You'd be right. Oh, and Gail, do you can you get yourself to your room okay? I guess so. Who who is our who is our member from Australia? Saunders. Saunders, Richard Saunders, is that uh, is six? Nope. Well, we have to count on um, on Susan oh, to come up with all the answers. On. You got to come up with all the answers. <laughs> we don't know any. Okay. We don't do you, does anybody know any of them? So I can just no. no. Okay. No. Let me pull up my screen. Hold on. I'm on. I think there's two I don't know. Let's see. Or I guessed. Number one is Nathan Lentz, L E N T S. Is someone taking notes? Not me. Can someone take notes? I, I'm writing as fast oh. as I can. Nathan Lentz, oh. L E N T S. I have his book. Um, very nice guy. And number two is Seth Andrews. Seth? Seth, S E T H. Okay, Andrews. Uh huh. Uh, three, I think, is the Harris family Bailey Harris. McKinsey and Douglas Harris. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that is who it is. Uh, four, I have to think about. Five is, you guys know this one. No. Romero. Oh, Romero fell off the stage? Yep. Didn't and know he's that. also a member of the Triangle Skeptics. That's how I know it's Romero not, um, and not uh, Faith. Oh, and oh. okay. The number six, I, I can't spell it correctly, but it's Abhijit Chandra. Abhijit Chandra. C H A N D R A. C H A N D R A. I think Abhijit. Um, Long distance, eight thousand miles from India. Yeah, he's in India. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me put Cindy in her room real quick. Um, we're putting her in one. Okay, let me see. One. Oh, I had to reduce the screen. Hold on, let me see a second. Okay, there it is. She's going into one. They'll be happy. Sandy I. Okay, so where was I? Six. So, we just finished six. You huh? just finished six. Okay. Problem with having too many screens. Seven is Jane Novella. Eight, you guys should know. Anybody going to take a guess? 
Susan, you got to remember, I'm brand new to this group, so I don't know anybody. Yeah, I don't have a clue. It's Wendy, who's in our, who was here today. Wendy Hughes. Yeah. Oh, oh, really? <laughs> she, she wrote an uh, article on, uh, she got scammed in a romance scam, and I made her write an article. Oh, huh? yeah. I and then that. I talked about her in my presentation. <laughs> Obviously, you guys didn't watch from 2022. Um, number <laughs> nine is Neil deGrasse Tyson. Oh, okay. Oh. And 10 is either Steve or... Uh, let me reread it. It's either, it's either Steve or it is um, Bob. Let me look at it again. Tomato Mises. First, I want to mention the long run. I think it's Bob. Bob Novella. So he's on there twice? No, the other one is Jay. There's three brothers. Oh, Jay. Oh, okay. So number four, every person wants it's icon. And then for my skeptical inquire video series, anticipating the 2023 discussion topics concluded why on the opposite persists the threat of postmodern. Oh, it must be Leonard. I don't know. Well, your guess is better than any of ours. I think it's I think it's because I don't because Leonard goes on and on about postmodernism and stuff. And he's already put two other people who are here, so I, I wouldn't be surprised. Go with it. It's kind of a vague question because it's it sounds I mean, any of us, if we had a conversation long enough, would cover Lord knows what, but it doesn't mean it's our expertise. Um no, no, this can't be it. Can't be it. Because it says their impact of their work on those struggling to leave religion behind. That's not Leonard. Who would that be? Impact of their work to leave those struggling to leave religion behind. Could be it could be Westbrook, Thomas Westbrook. Yeah, try Thomas Westbrook. I, don't, I okay. So I interviewed in three. The pair were Psycon first timers. That's true. I interviewed the Psycon attendee and their child. See, the child is the one that's the famous one, Bailey Harris. So it, the way he's worded it. I would have thought he would have said, I interviewed this child and their parent, but he's got it the other way around as if the parent is the important one and the child is the minor person. That's, I'm not sure. Um, okay, that's what I'm going to go with. So you should have Nathan Lentz, Seth Andrews, Harris family, Thomas Westbrook, Romero Rodriguez, Abhijit Chandra, Jay Novella, Wendy Hughes, Neil deGrasse Tyson, and Bob Novella. Okay. Got him. Rare, I, it's a rare, rare, rare thing when I can help. <laughs> <laughs> I remember no, this moment. I'm glad we're recording. <laughs> <laughs> It's, a red letter, it's definitely a red letter day for us. I know. <laughs> yeah. So I hope uh, you're writing this on your calendar right now. <laughs> Circle it. Should we ask? Should we ask him for help? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see where he's at. I don't know what I would lie and tell him. He's in room four. I watched Romero too, whatever he was saying that he, he was doing the question. It was about Romero and he was just like, <laughs> so I don't know if he wasn't hearing or he was just really good at faking it. And Wendy <laughs> and Wendy, when he got to Wendy, she was like, <laughs> and she had a little grin and that was it. She was <laughs> And Neil deGrasse Tyson, who's in the other room. No, I'm only kidding. Oh. <laughs> like, he should play. We should Bill Nye. We should show them that they don't know everything. Yeah. They, that would, be they would be impressed. 
I know they would. We'll show them. We'll show them. Jane, so where have you been? You've been all over the world, haven't you? Jane? Me? Yeah. Where have you been? Lately? Well, we've been doing a lot of traveling. Yeah, that's um, what I mean. Have you, haven't you been? Yeah. Where have you just come well, from? Well, we just, we had to go to Nebraska for family. Um, and then uh, we were up in Oregon and Washington. What part? Uh, uh, Spokane, Coeur d'Alene, uh -huh. and Corvallis, Oregon. You were in Corvallis? Yes. That's where Janine is. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It's one of, I love Corvallis. What do you have in oh, Corvallis? Yeah. My sister lives there. Oh my so, gosh. I was just there recent uh a month or two ago. Yeah. And then we were down in San Diego visiting our son and his family. Oh, you've oh. been a real traveler, right? You driving or, yeah. or are you flying? Uh, flying uh, yeah. And then uh we go to South America in um December for oh. Jack. Where? Yeah. What country? We're going to, uh, well, we're starting in Santiago, Chile, and ending nice. in Greece. Wow. And this is just to travel with your husband, right? Not like to, not right. to or anything, right? It's a, a Viking cruise, so. Oh, yeah. that's fun. Sounds Are you going yeah. to of you guys or with a tour or what is it? It's with Viking. Mm -hmm. I mean, but is oh, it like us? Yeah. Well, yeah, they, they take you to places and they you tour the wherever you stop on the boat but and you're, not going their, with, you're not with going with the tour of friends or anything like that okay no. that's what i mean oh, biking is nice but you start in santiago i didn't hear where, where, where do you end in buenos aires so we go around oh, the horn nice. wow yeah, that's nice. Gonna, yeah. it's, a, that's, it's a very nice trip that's really nice yeah wow, you're gonna be so, having but if you end up if you end up in thailand and they offer you a a, a motor a motorcycle ride don't yeah, take it yeah. don't take it <laughs> in, in india and i i've seen how they drive over it's there the <laughs> no way <laughs> every the whole family's on the bike same yeah. horse hi deborah <laughs> Okie dokie. Hey, okay. hey guys, I, I think I came up with an answer for the one we didn't have for, so I just penciled it in. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry, team, but I had I had to take that call, so I wasn't able to help on our round at all. No, <laughs> no. I'm sorry, you guys. I just got no. back. So I hope you guys did well, all of you people who have never been to Psycon and don't know any. <laughs> don't know any of the people. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Here Robert. we go. I, I, I what is to... this psychon you speak of? <laughs> <laughs> I had to take that call. Uh, oh, I'm no. going to arrange for Carl to get a call next round. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see if you did better than the uh, range of two to nine. We'll see if anybody actually scored a 10 on this one. And uh, there were there were certain people who should have definitely gotten uh, at least one of them absolutely right for sure. All right, number one, uh, the one about the, the um, biologist, uh, geneticist, etc. That is Nathan Lentz. Um, okay. And I heard Brandy say she actually has the book and could see his name on the book right there. So that was. <coughs> well, I have it too, but it's on my Kindle. <laughs> Number two is uh, the very famous in atheist circle, Seth Andrews from The Thinking Atheist. Fantastic voice. My God, made made for broadcasting. A little bit too good, I think, sometimes. Num number three <laughs> is one of our own here. Um, did everyone know it was Brandy? Yeah. Brandy did. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you can recognize yourself, yeah. She's number like Beyonce. She just goes by Brandy. Number yep. four no, was none other than uh, Richard Dawkins. Yeah, oh, all right, guys. Yeah. Heard some argument about that one. Yeah, he's he's big on on discussing postmodernism. Uh, by the way, so that was kind of oh, uh, you know, I should have thought of that. Yeah, that would mm. not have been something that uh, probably a pen would bring up. Um, right. I heard people think <laughs> number number. That. 
Number five is another one of our own. Hopefully that was recognized by most people. That was Romero, who almost killed himself. He, he remembered when we pointed it out to him. No, <laughs> no. I watched his face. He repressed he the memory of question. falling off. He, he argued he had, strongly that that wasn't him. He was like this. <laughs> no. I'm like, this guy could fall oh, oh, I guess the fall was harder than we thought. <laughs> Did you, so Romero, you really didn't know that was you? We're joking, Susan. Uh, somebody was sending me a message. No, the when, when they record. When he, he had to take question. it. He had to take yeah, a call, he, so he didn't. He uh, had to take a call because he was like this. Carl, Carl said, uh, <laughs> uh, R "Ramiro knows at least one of these." And so then I started reading them. Oh, yeah. so, so whenever he was reading one. the question, you didn't know. Okay, that's why you had that poker face. <laughs> I was wondering. But but I, I must say that uh, you know I was a fan of the Final Destination films where you know you miss dying when you're supposed to, so death comes after you. So of course Romero had to fall and break his leg mm -hmm. later. Later, yeah, later. yeah, the, that's true. That makes later. sense. That makes yeah. sense. Being yeah. on the West Coast has not been good for Romero. <laughs> uh, yeah. num number not six not is uh, the person I met from India. That's Abhijit Chanda. I'll take it if you just got his first name or his last name. one of those two. <laughs> we knew who it was. We just didn't know his last name. Okay. Number <laughs> seven, the Dragons of Saikon should have been a big hit for the Flamingo headliner, Piff the Magic Dragon. Oh. oh. Also, the joke, of course, is uh, because, you know, people say who is his famous older brother. Uh, you know, it's not Steve. Oh. Right? It, it, Hi, it, sweetie. Puff the magic dragon. So there you go. We had that, but we changed it because I, I was oh, crying when I saw you guys I, do that. I, I, I thought it was Jane Novella twice. Watch that dumb trip. Yeah, you had it, and then you changed it to Bob Novella or something. I didn't get why you did that. But, oh because because we because he has the older Steve. brother named Steve. Oh, uh, brother. Puff the magic dragon did not. But he hasn't it. been to Psycon in quite a while. Not his no. brother. Yeah. All right. Number eight is another one from the group here who absolutely should have got that. I would say, uh, you know, her story was kind of uh, told often. So most people should have known this was our own Wendy. Yay. She barely reacted, whatever. She was like just a little smile when she was reading it. Didn't want to give it away. Very good, Wendy. She Later. went like a, <laughs> like that. That yeah, I, I couldn't see the screen when I was reading them, so I don't know how anybody reacted. Yeah, uh, I'll look. I'll look at the uh, the replay when you post it. Number nine, uh, Future Thirty Eight, a very good film, uh, which starts with this person in the theater with a bucket of popcorn, like you know, saying, "Yeah, they finally got time to have a right." That was Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yep. And number ten. I don't know. I saw people getting the wrong novella here. This was Jay novella. Huh. I put Jay, then I put Bob. <clears throat> you know why? Because I thought it was Jay in number seven. Oh. Was that Brother Steve. A much yeah. more famous brother Steve. Why would the name of that be Dragons of Psychon, though? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, because they do Dragon Con. Okay. I overthought it. Oh. I did oh. too. Yeah. Well, there's only three freaking brothers. One of Susan was using Da Vinci Code logic. <laughs> <laughs> there's five brothers. I think that the groups who didn't have anyone that was mentioned tonight in their teams, they should get a, a bonus point. <laughs> I'll leave that to Susan. Because <laughs> I said no. Because no. other teams had a bigger advantage than others. I'm just saying. Well, we read, the, we, read the, our, we watched his interviews. Everybody has that opportunity. I watched his interviews. I well, listened to Skeptic Zone. There you go. If you had watched my talk at Psycon, you would have known it was Wendy. Oh, I'm very sorry that I live in lockdown and I got <laughs> Wendy right. Thank no, you. no, my video is up on YouTube. It's been there for a year. See, I know who watched my video. <laughs> my eyes are watching you guys. I, I, I was careful. I was careful. I, I switched the questions once the teams were made. I, I wanted to make sure that there weren't two <laughs> people in the same team that I was going to talk about. Oh. 
Uh, oh, oh, I'm in charge. Scores. Okay. <laughs> if, <laughs> I to make sure we were on. So let's go to score. So uh, Ivanka selective memory. Six. And I have to say, give credit where I was due. I'm Kyle did out everything except me. Me, me. Oh. <laughs> Show the spreadsheet. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I'm I'm forgetting to do something that I always do. Okay. That you always do. You need yeah, to do I can't it. I can't do this wrong. Help elect New Zealand's bird of the century. Seven. Seven. I gave you I gave you Cindy. Oh. And five, I gave you uh Jane from Oregon. Uh Rob's own team. How do we do? Seven. Oh wow. Um Orcas. Four boat zero. Nine oh. again. Wow. Mm. Unless we get that bonus point for not having any of then we get a ten. Bologna. <laughs> As of now, you can be one in a million person, and that means there's eight thousand people just like you. Hashtag not so special. Ten. <laughs> not working. Wow, look at that. Nice spread there. So you're at seven point eight. So it looks like a few more people read your articles and a couple of the people were here. Three of them. I didn't get Brandy. I thought it was the Harris family. Oh, I good, thought it was. Good. I thought it was uh, Bailey Harris and um, and her family. Well, that's the last time tonight. We'll take your help. I know for real. <laughs> okay, so a uh, photo. Everybody here. Whoops. Crash. Ready for photo time? My favorite part of the whole game is whenever I, I say we're going to take a photo and everybody, I can see them adjusting themselves to get themselves just right. I love that part. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, uh, whoops. Come on, mouse. Got it. Caspian's not here. Well, his name's here. Okay. That's good. I got it. Okay. Five minutes. Five minutes. I do not look presentable, so. Ah, you're fine. Your hair on fire? <laughs> what are you doing that, Susan? Sorry, sorry. That was me, that was me stretching my mouth. I wasn't actually yawning or anything. Did anyone do anything particularly Carl Sagan-y for Carl Sagan Day? No, I did not. Tisk tisk. No, I was looking actually for reference books among, you know, my my books that I just have at home to try to come up with a um a series of a topic for a series of questions for our trivia game and um and that was the you know i have i have a, a couple of books by carl sagan the demon haunted world was actually how i found out about 
uh, Skeptical Inquirer magazine. Yeah, just for a little while. <laughs> but, That's a um, great book. It's a great book, and the and um and um. But I I decided that I needed I I I know what I want my uh topic to be, and um I and um I'm gonna buy a book, uh that I think will help me more than the ones that I already have. That's so, a real. That's quite an investment. <laughs> no, no. I, I mean, like, I, I there's a, a specific author that I want to. Lee, what's the dog's name? Whoa! This? Yeah. He's doing. Oh, this is Dream. Say hi. <laughs> Hello, puppy. Pepper. Puppy. Yeah, Pepper. Be on TV. Come on, I'm Pepper. To out where all those voices are coming from. Yeah. This is Pepper. Oh, okay. hi, Pepper. Roo, 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 roo. Look at the doggy, Pepper. Look at the doggy. There's a doggy. Ruff, ruff. Roo, 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 roo. Oh. When is Carl Sagan Day? Today. Hey. Oh, really? Well, then November I can 9th. say honestly say that I did something because I did a talk today and I used the ah. the the example. It was a anyway. The example oh, of the two of them. I used was the sky <laughs> breathing dragon in the garage. That is oh, that that is fantastic. Wow. Dream and star. Nice. So cute. Oh, puppies. Very cute. Oh puppies. I see puppies. Okay. Puppies. Oh, look, they're so sweet to each other. You guys. I heard there was puppies, so I had to rush back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. Is Rob going to post his answers, or do we care? Did Rob forget to post his answers? I guess so. It does look like Looks it. like he did. So boo to him, yay to me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so so if if he forgot to post his answers, that means we all get ten, right? Did I, did I just hear my name? What happened? Yeah. You didn't post. The well, answers. we're just saying yeah. that if you don't post your answers, then we oh, all get. There's 10. another copy. Oh, I didn't post my answers. Yeah, let me post the answers. Okay. Is that Willow? Yep, this is Willow. Oh, what a sweetheart! I want a puppy. Another one. Puppers. <laughs> I've just had gotten a bonus point. We would have got 10 and I would have been so proud. I'd, I'd bring in my Tibetan Mastiff, but I don't know if I could pick her up. Yeah. <laughs> really? You don't see many of those in the your, world. Rob, how long ago was your interview with Jane Avella? Oh, it was one of the first things I did. So it was early 2018. Was the first one, and and I think it was through the. It was just such a long interview. Oh, Peppa girl. I, I kind of interviewed him once, but it was so much material. I broke it up into three articles. That's what happened. Yeah, and so the first one was, I want to say May or June, and then the last one was sometime near Psycon. Yeah. Yeah. I think, without looking back at it. Yeah, we talked sure they about... weren't at Psycom that year. Okay, no. I'm back. Oh, no. That's right. <laughs> I just had to hear what Mark Mark had did his magic class and yeah. I, I, I met I met them all on, at the 2017, my first Psycom, which is is they did several things, including a live uh recording of their show. And so that's when I first got to meet them all. Uh, oh. yeah. And they did a uh a wonderful was that the one was that the year they did Gilligan's Island? Is there a Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they won. That they was hysterical. It. Yeah. I, I actually, I took a picture of them posing on stage in a Tableau, all of them. And I didn't realize they were doing an actual photo of the cast that you can find. Right. It was like the same. <laughs> it was very good. And I did not even recognize Rob. It was amazing. I don't know. I didn't realize who he was. Uh, and of course, quite, Bob, Bob, made quite Bob, a ginger. Bob was in uh, Bob was in drag, so yeah, made quite a ginger. Yes. 
Only a ginger. Oh, never mind. All right. That's a so that's a different back. ginger reference. <laughs> so we're back. We're we're ready to go. I just uploaded another video on my Psychics Explain channel. Ooh. Seconds as before we started the channel tonight, the game tonight. It's on two sisters who are psychics who solved helped the, the police solve a crime that had happened in 2007, but they were recording a video in 2014 and the crime was actually solved in 2023. So <laughs> they didn't, it's awful. Oh my gosh. So it's, so not only are they psychic, but they're time travelers. Yeah. They're awful. Yeah. They're liars. Yeah. They're, they're, well, awful. that's another possibility. So I just uploaded the video. <laughs> I think it might have. That's the most likely possibility. Reviews. By the principle of charity, we should assume they're time travel. <laughs> <laughs> By Occam's razor, not. And well, I yeah. have a, I have another article out. This one is uh, Thomas John. So I'm trying not to do Thomas John all the time, but he's so freaking easy. He's so full of crap too. Oh, I know. My God, it's just like what the hell. So no. So he's um. So I did a video um today Thank you. I'll get it. on somebody who's not thomas john and and i did uh an article came out i do have an article coming out hopefully soon well it might be a while because barry will probably put it off a little bit on harriet hall not harriet hall Jeannie huh? <laughs> scott well what's the connection in your head between those because you said her name also when you were talking about eugenie scott I mean, harriet hall eugenie i don't know they're both I, I hold them both in high esteem and they both are West Coast people. I don't know. I know one's living, one's dead, but I, I there's some reason I just like say Kyle the wrong Kyle. name. But anyway, so Eugene. They're both <laughs> very kind. And George Robb. <clears throat> and there should be a picture of Rob in there. So um it should be interesting. So I, I don't know. Barry hasn't said anything and it's 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 quite different from any articles I've ever written. So I'm waiting for I turned it at the same time as I did my Thomas John one and the Thomas John one published today. So I Barry hasn't said anything. I'm waiting for him to go, oh no, Susan. <laughs> no. <laughs> so anyway, we'll see. So what do we got over in Data Skeptic? I hear you have a podcast. I do indeed. And this week we're posing an interesting question, still talking about these large language models like Chat GPT. I talked to somebody who tried to figure out which programming language it's best at. And uh, this is spoilers, it's an obscure language called Julia. Julia? Never heard of that. That's a very pretty name. Is it spelled J-U-L-I-A or some weird? The no J-U-L-I-A normal way. Is it no, uh, it's just a strange name for programming language. Huh. I wonder if that, well, no, I, I, I would have thought it would have been weird letters or something and just pronounced Julia. Is it a childish or a French connection there? Could be. I don't know the uh, etymology. Yeah, Julia Child, the French chef, is what I was thinking. Well, Vincent's here. He's going on Team 5. And Adrian should be coming along here soon, too. I think All I'm right. going to have to bid everyone adieu, though. It's getting it's, late for me. I'm glad you could at least make two rounds, Kevin. Thank yeah, you. no, Kevin. it was awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks Hi, for Kevin. staying for a little bit, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Good, Kevin. Good luck, guys. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. So, Hi, um, Vincent. Rob, do you have something? Hi, Vincent. Rob, you have anything? Hi, Vincent. Welcome. Hi. Hello. Welcome. You missed the Thank first you. two rounds. Vincent, sure. we're being I recorded. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, that Cindy, I... Cindy, what are those I, earrings you're wearing? <laughs> yeah. They're this those shells they use. Oh, they look like they're color. this big and they look like hammers or something. No, um, it's just the one hanging on the bottom. It's kind of big. These are a lot of little. Oh, okay. Yeah. Touch. Now it doesn't. Okay. Yeah. At the time it so looked it, like you had these two giant hangers, like, oh. like hammers. <laughs> anyway. you know, I, I don't think Adrian will be joining us because she wasn't in the book club tonight. So yeah, oh. she had she had a retirement party she was at. Yeah, she's at a party. She okay. might be coming later. Ah, so party. Anything else we need to know? So I'm I'm working on an article which I should be submitting hopefully Monday, and uh, maybe it'll be published next week, which is my fourth in the series of of uh, Psycon first timers. Oh, that's I've gonna be fun. Today a bunch of times, 
So this will have uh, Will McCandless uh, from um, uh, Skeptoid. The Skeptoid episode. Skeptoid. Kelly Marin, who was uh, Adrian. Sharon Chen, who uh, a lot of people noticed at the costume party in her go-go dancer outfit. Uh, Greg Rowe uh, and uh, DJ Crossland. She was the co-speaker uh, on Sunday Papers. And Sammy Schuster is the person who showed up late on Sunday, and unfortunately, no one met her until then. Well, she was there the whole time. We just met her on it's, Sunday. That's what I said. She oh. showed up at your table, I meant. Uh, oh, know, I thought she meant she there. showed up no. late. So, yeah, she didn't mention that in her write-up. I was glad. They all ignored me. <laughs> she didn't say that. Because we made up for it when on the watch and, uh, But you got a shout-out. And uh, and Robin Canton and uh, his daughter, Eleonore, if that's Eleanor. how you say it. I'm waiting for their input. So, yeah. Awesome. This will be fun. So this will be round three, right? <laughs> <laughs> Coming up. Everybody Maybe. better read Don't them. Don't forget. Maybe. I just want to give a shout out to Gail. She gave a really great presentation for my for our Ollie at the University oh, of Pacific nice. today. She did oh, an okay. intro to skepticism, and it was awesome. So what was the What was the topic? Intro to skepticism, scientific skepticism. Oh, intro to skepticism. So, oh, cool. It you was, should it read up on it, Rob. Well it's interesting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've heard. I've heard that. Heard of heard of that, Rob? Why aren't you giving your talk to Romero's group? I am. I'm also giving it to a local group. I'm going to do in person. I have to make an hour drive North Jersey, and I'm doing it in person. Um, it's like double the length of the one I give at Tycon. It's actually more interesting because I got videos in it. Um, and yeah. yes, I'm gonna, and then I'm I am trying to make that stuff. Romero. So, what the, what the, is, we, is Romero? Might, we might, if we can figure out the technology, we might invite you to Oregon. Okay, that'd be great. <laughs> um, be Romero, great. That, that's this week, right? Is Romero here? I'm not seeing him on my screen. Oh, I'm not seeing Romero. Um, was we seem to be, we he seem was to be missing a Romero? Hmm. We're missing Romero. Did he oh, fall off? There you go. <laughs> he he totally oh, here, here comes Garen. Um, yeah, so yeah, my, that's true. My so yeah, my talk for triangles, my talk for triangle skeptics is um, seven p.m. Eastern time on the fifteenth. So it's gonna week. be that's next week. Four. One. Wait, four, five, six, seven, four o'clock our time. Right. Yeah, the red the red bank one. They're not going to live stream it. They record it and later upload it to YouTube. But yeah, if you want to catch the longer version, which has got a lot of I interesting would. material in it, that's I, would, I felt really it. badly to have missed it in Psycon, but I was talking with Richard. I, I, I understand. <laughs> one, and, as, and I as needed one to. Does. I needed to. So. <clears throat> All right. So I do have something coming up what was it i don't know well, i can't keep it straight anymore <laughs> Seems like you're going something. on a trip susan oh we're having skeptic camp monterey i've reserved the room paid for the room 800 and something dollars wait a minute shouldn't it be a tent if it's a camp <laughs> no we're having it in a room skeptic camp monterey it's going to be this weekend First january it's be, yeah it's it's that day that was known for something else we're going to take the date back January 5th, 6th, and 7th. And hopefully we're going to, and Adrian Hill's coming to be here. Kyle's going to be here. Hopefully we have some more people come up from LA and from other yeah. places. And um, we're hopefully going to go to the Winchester Mystery House since Sunday. So I will be looking for helpers. Ooh, are yeah. you going to print out Adrian's article and uh, hand out copies to the people who run that place? <laughs> oh, that'd be interesting. <laughs> You can um, make a little pamphlet. Well, I met a guy fun. tonight who believes the Winchester tourist guys spill about Sarah Winchester. Well, everybody does. And I told him he he, he grew up in San Jose. He, oh. So he believed it absolutely because of the Winchester house. I told him, you need to look at the Wikipedia article by Adrian Hill. Tells you what Sarah's real <clears throat> And they did not build that house to contain spirits. I seen the movie he, based on. I that. was talking, I was talking I to my. I was talking to my friend who lives in Dublin, and I was telling her about it. And she said, "I've been on that tour, and I thought 
all of that was true. I and I said, it's I've not I've been true. on that tour with Susan Gerbeck. <laughs> I thought it was I, true. I didn't well, think it was really true, true that ghosts were haunting her, but I thought she believed it. I did yeah. too. I went on that tour a few years ago. I believed it. Yeah, so I thought it was true at first. The one thing that I perfectly believable about was that they made a fuss about the, the staircase with her little, tiny little mm -hmm. steps. Yeah. And I kept thinking, yeah. she had arthritis. That made sense. That wasn't a strange thing. She had really bad and, arthritis. Uh, and we have steps like that at Oregon State University that was in an old women's storm. And the skirts at the time were very tight, long and oh, tight. Man. And so they made the steps very short so that the ladies could oh. wear their well, fashion and walk up the steps. I never thought of that, but that makes sense. Yes. It's like, why would you modify your building for a yeah. women's style? But they are the most annoying steps to walk up. And it was in the ag building when I was an ag major and it was i had to go up them all the time <laughs> well did Adrian's you do two gonna, at a time uh maybe she heart rolled up adrian's <laughs> gonna be talking about the winchester mystery house in more depth than she did at psycon she'll be talking about that oh all the all the videos are out too for that i recorded so if you guys are interested in what adrian talked about or what rob palmer talked about they're out there and there's all kinds of videos on my channel susan gerbic there's a playlist of like 13 videos that there's all kinds of stuff in there. So you guys want to check it out. Bill Nye with uh, um, Richard Dawkins talking and, oh, it's just all kinds. Halloween party stuff. You can see Geo, George Robb climbing up a uh, climbing up the side of a building with Batman. He was good at that. He's he's amazing. I don't, yeah. Anyway, so um, I just wanted to mention, um, I got the email from... Um, Free Thought Society um, from Margaret Downey, and they have a little newsletter, an e-newsletter, yeah. and I didn't exactly understand who Sharon Chen is, and she's a board member. I mean, yeah. she's a very accomplished person, but um, and her bio, she's there's a almost full page uh, biography of her in their little newsletter, and I yeah, don't know who sure is. Yeah, and um, so you could look that up on Free Thought Society yep. website. All right. And, oh, I'm and, sorry, Wendy. Oh, I just it's just that I wish I had understood that. Oh, I had the opportunity to meet her and talk to her. And the okay. and, yeah. Let's yeah. go. Cat. Gonna be all right. You're not hyperventilating. <laughs> Everybody's gotta be nice to cat. <laughs> Even if I have horrible. claws that don't retract. Just what saying. Your, what's your category? <laughs> My category, in case you didn't guess from what's behind me. Oh, is hockey? L is ah he double hockey sticks. Oh. Jeez. That's right, how I'm we swear everyone. up here in Canada because we're super nice. Eh? All right, muting everybody. <laughs> I have to unmute me before I get started. All right, we're ready to go. Canada is officially a bilingual country. How many other countries have two or more official languages? I'll give you a plus or minus a five on that. Because I'm nice. <laughs> oh, Canadians, I love them. <laughs> The roots of organized sport in Canada date back to the 1770s. In 1994, the National Sports of Canada Act came into force designating hockey as Canada's official winter sport. What was designated as Canada's official summer sport? Hockey, because they don't really get a summer. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say being nice. Being nice isn't a sport, it's a way of life. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> or so I've heard. <laughs> Number three. Which one of these is not a Canadian invention? The Internet's first search engine, 
IMAX Movie System, Java Programming Language, Braille, AM Broadcasting, Newsprint or Pulped Wood Paper, Pagers, Blackberry Devices, Walkie Talkie, or the Telephone. Is there just one answer? Yes, which one is not Canadian? So one of those is not Canadian. The coldest place in Canada based on an average yearly temperature is Eureka, none of it, where the temperature averages at minus 19.7 Celsius or minus 3.5 Fahrenheit for all of y'all who do Fahrenheit for the year. What is the coldest temperature ever recorded in Canada? Answers must be in Celsius. Do we get a plus or minus on that? Ooh, do you want me to be super nice to you? Well, I don't know how, unless it's like something that's like 42 or something that's an obvious answer that we would, nerds would get, but. <laughs> okay, don't forget to convert plus the plus or minus, or minus like though, because you got to have a different one in Celsius and Fahrenheit. Yeah, well, yeah, but the answer just has to be in Celsius. That's because none of this fooling around with Fahrenheit stuff. I'm not doing conversions in my head. The answer in Kelvin? Not in Kelvin either, because that's I too much live in, power for me. None of it. I want to live in none of it. That's awesome. Yeah, Eureka, none of it. Eureka, none of it. Right? Eureka, none of it. I like that. Well, awesome. you don't have to. We'll we'll be fine, Kat. We'll make something up. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a plus minus on that one. What? I'll figure out what, what it's going to be. Um, I don't know, five. How about that? Plus okay. minus five on that. How, how about how about the closest to the number wins? Ooh, Ooh without quite, going over. Depending on what how the answers turn out, that'll be a definite possibility because other people might get the right answer. You never know. Okay. Or over keep, or under. <laughs> right? Five over under or closest if if nobody else gets this right. Okay. <laughs> You're making me feel like my questions are super hard for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> If you haven't caught on, this is a little bit of revenge from the Canadian in the group who doesn't know all the American stuff. Yeah, I've I noticed Adrian didn't show up. Yeah, I know Adrian didn't have my back tonight. Jeez. Team, team number five is going to love me. I know, Vincent. <laughs> I know. Oh, it's Vincent, the Canadian. <laughs> hey, Jim. All right. Vincent. Number five. What type of bear is only found in Canada? Drop bears. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought I was on mute. Number six. Canada has more of a specific kind of natural physical structure than the rest of the world combined. What are they? And hint, the answer is not Canadians. Oh, damn. Nice people. <laughs> I'm a physical structure, but you know, world can't have too many of me oh that's true we want more <laughs> of you seven billion seven billion yeah eight billion for some reason my number seven doesn't want to copy but y'all know this is question number seven how many unesco world heritage sites are in canada and if nobody gets that right i'll do a closest on that one but everybody should get that right. I'm just saying. You guys know all about your neighbors to the north. Of course. <laughs> What's a UNESCO? <laughs> We're in deep trouble. Do you really think Canadians would know the answers to most of, most of these? I uh, ran it by Canadians, actually, to make sure. So, yeah. Oh, oh, somebody checked. I, I you know, because some of my questions were, like, really too easy. So I upped my game a little bit, but I did the consult Canadians. other Canadians on these questions. So <laughs> number eight, Alberta is the world's largest inhabited region to be completely free of this kind of pest. Name the pest. American. It's not Donald Trump either. Clearly, so. that's not true, but. You know, and I know, but we know. So you got the I answer. I know, but you know, and you know that I know. <laughs> it 
everything's better. All right, number nine, we're almost done my torture of you. According to comic book lore, that's right, I'm touching on you guys, you <laughs> little nerdy comic book people. <laughs> Which superhero was born in Colt Lake, Alberta? And last but not least, number 10, which type of evidence is not admissible in many Canadian courts? Any questions? No, no, no. All right, I'm gonna try and throw people to breakout rooms. Okay. I've never done this before, but I'm trying. This is what we learn here. This, this is what we learn. This isn't trivia. Uh, I, I'm in the wrong room. Somebody switch me, please. Oh, shoot. I never removed your... No, you can't. You can't fix them. Rob, I never removed your powers. Oh, okay. I'll do it. So let me put Vincent in five. Well, you said five, so... It's... Then Karen's going to go to one. And I'm going to three. About already. Yeah, the one that we already talked about is easy. <laughs> That's yes. a good one. Now you know why we couldn't accept that as our team name. So I just popped in to say that. Kudos for knowing that one, Mano. And I right. should. We don't have a Canadian on our team. We do, but she's the one who gave the question. I know. Okay. Right. Think... Okay. So, so, Kat, you should be able to go hop around to all the rooms and listen in. It's best yeah. if you cover your mouth or something because i'm telling you these it's very hard not to want to respond but the room you're in right now is going to be recorded but the awesome. other rooms will not be recorded so this is the room you want to spend the least time in so you can go back and watch the video and see what we say about you yes well it was it was very funny when we we opened our our first break room this today so we had good conversations about that so i'm leaving you all now have okay. fun enjoy Bye. Fun. <laughs> i don't have a clue on number one Okay. It's gotta be a uh, bunch. Well, it's plus or minus five. Yeah, I would so say twenty-five. Be... Yeah, yeah, two twenty-five. Sure, why not? Twenty-five. Yeah. Okay. The roots I of organizing. Think number two is lacrosse. Really? Not curling? You don't think it's baseball? Official? I don't know. Summer sport. It's not baseball. Um. Why not? Lacrosse, why not? Horses. Because what? What? Horses. Horses? Horses? Well, they have those. They have a Canadian. Num number, th number three is easy. It's Braille. Ah. Yeah, I remember it was somewhere else. Three is Braille. Uh, Braille was French. Okay, so, the, oh yeah, the name. Right. Coldest place they, in the I didn't somewhere Canada around sixty so below. Sixty? Yeah. Damn. That's reasonable. I don't oh, know. How yeah. Oh, yeah. No, minus sixty in Celsius, right? Right. Yeah. I've been in minus forty. Whoa. Um, and I that's uh, let's say that that's that's pretty damn chilly. Yeah. Five is a polar bear. Oh, that's interesting. I was thinking it might be a. Well, no, I guess I didn't know. Yeah, Let's I would. I, I don't know. Um, they've got polar. Don't they have polar bears in Alaska? I don't think so. I don't know. You don't. That go was to the first thing that came to mind. Bear. Yeah, I can't think of any other. There may be a bear we don't commonly think yeah, of. But... The A bear. Hmm. The A bear. <laughs> a. Back bacon. Okay, so let's see. What would Canada have a specific kind of natural physical structure? The answer isn't Canadians. Well, that's not helpful. Thanks. Um, um, so no, there, there, I, I doubt this is the answer, but there's a thing called a. Um, so there are some glacial features that. Ontario has a lot of. I used to live in Toronto. Um, mm. Called drumlins, which I don't think are are in many other places. It's drumlins and kettle bowl lakes, but I I fjords? can't believe. Oh no! There's 
there's yeah. no fjords are are much more common in Scandinavia. But the, but Canada's yeah. bigger. Yeah, I don't think it's got them though. Right. Got to be something. And, and, and I wouldn't call a fjord a structure, but it's a natural physical structure. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Natural physical structure. Yeah. Well, like like a like a like a lake. Yeah, that's a natural physical structure. Well, that's not really a structure. Yeah. It's a structure. I think a like structure a, is more like a butte or a mountain, mountain or a right. cave or a cliff. Flag might. But I like I like what was that word that you used, Lynn? Drumlin. D R U M L I N. That's just such a great word. It should be used whether it's right or not. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that 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 I'm remembering that correctly. Not a clue on number seven. It's a number. Yes, it is a number. I know numbers. The answer is not X. The answer is five. I have no idea. We could say five. We could say 20. Oh, How that's way too low or what? Like. I have no idea. No that idea. It, 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 is, uh, it is less than a million. You have to go with 25 again? No, it's probably like 15 or something like that. It can't be that know. many. I think that's, I think that's too high, but I, I really... I'm not. Ten, seven. We have to get exact, don't we? Yeah. Un unless no one that. gets it. Yeah. Yeah. So let's let's go on. So number eight is is rat. Right. Oh, I was going to say right. mosquitoes. Oh, we had this comment. Never mind. You don't need to know how we cheated, but. <laughs> oh, and this is Wolverine. Yeah. yeah oh. that's, what that's what I thought. Yep, that's the first thing that came to my mind. Type of evidence is not admissible in many Canadian courts. Lie detectors here. I, I don't know what it would be there. That can we there. can we just say inadmissible evidence? <laughs> <laughs> inadmissible evidence is yeah. not admissible. We got a lawyer here. She'll tell you. That's kind of Jesuitical. What kind of evidence? So you know the the uh, lie detector is good. Um. I, I would uh, hope it would be. Um, uh, oh, repressed memories. Aliens, alien testimony. There's I don't watch enough Canadian TV to have figured this one out. There's no there's Canadian, Canadian on TV? order. <laughs> there is. There's a wonderful show, by the way, called Letter Kenny. And if you get a chance to see it, I can't remember what it's on. Oh, Hulu yeah. or something it's it's fucking hysterical just hysterical never heard of it okay but anyway so, they don't talk about court they only talk about lie detector yeah whatever yeah let's do that well thanks for your confidence whatever <laughs> so what are we got for seven and we say in ten yeah i ten. like ten all right i think we have an answer for everything who knows you know, she was trying to, she's trying to mess with all the, because, you know, mess with everybody because of Canada, you know, that we're always hitting, hitting down on Canada. We don't really have much on there, but her own team, <laughs> she's yeah. screwing with her team. She forgot to, the number one rule is if don't you're going to be the Canadian in the room, don't make it the Canadian. Well, number one rule is, is when you're writing these categories, the one person you know for sure is going to be on your team. Until she goes to New Zealand. Is Susan. Is Susan. Or Ben or Rob, if they're running the game. Right. So. I think Jordan should do it. Well, Thanksgiving would be great. You guys are always busy on Thanksgiving, right? You guys got huge families, right, Ben and mm -hmm. Jordan? We're going to move Thanksgiving to, um, we're going to move our trivia to Thanksgiving the day after. I forgot to make sure I remind everybody. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because we don't have, I That's won't be idea. in town. That's and, a really uh, good idea. But it'll you're be not going to be in town, to Susan. Thursday. Hmm? But you're, you're not going to be uh, on the way to New Zealand yet. I will be in New Zealand. I will oh, be on a train. Oh, that's right. Oh, wow. No, I'll, I'll, train. Train. I'll right. be, and, but it'll be the day after for, it'll be right. the day before you guys. Is Mark going? Nope. Just somebody me. has to take those cats, huh? Oh, those cats, man. Let me tell you, somebody has to manage, somebody has to wrangle them. Yeah, it's too much. It's too long. And it's too much for him. 
So it's just me. Well, Melody Treasure King is going to go with me. So, well, not with me, but she's already over there. She's a, a speaker at that was at PsychOn this year. She's great. Mm-hmm. I'll be spending lots and lots of time with her and Anthony. Hope they can keep up with me. Are you going to see that new national bird? Today, Cadiz, yeah. Yeah, that one. Titty, titty, caca, whatever it is. Titty, titty, So do we have good answers for everything or we just have answers for everything? We have answers. We have answers. There, a couple of them are really good. They might yeah, make whether, the other whether ones. Whether or not they're better. right is another question. Oh. We have at least three that are right, I'm pretty sure. That's going to be really sad. Pink the team here. How many other Canadians could be? Well, I, you know what? I think somebody made a very good point. How many Canadians could actually answer these questions? Like the UNESCO World Heritage Sites? I don't know how many are in the it's, United States. It's a requirement. I think it's like a password to get into your computer each time. <laughs> oh, oh well, I've got my password know. changed. Oh, look, we've added a new UNESCO World Heritage Site. I better change my password. <laughs> uh, that's. I'm sure oh. that's what it is. Yeah, we have at least one right. Wolverine? Wolverine's no, good. Rat. Yeah. That's a good one. Got rat, rat is really good. So that's two. We got at least if two. the only one we have right is the Wolverine, I, I'm happy with that. Well, no, we have to. Rat is that is correct as well. Yeah, we know rat too. So yeah, so. What type of evidence is not in two. I'm pretty confident that Braille is correct and polar bear is correct. But the the what kind of evidence is not admissible? Lie detector tests, everybody says that. So often, yeah, I don't. If you assume that that it must be something different, yeah, I don't know. Um, let's let's say it's it has something to do with the fact that all Canadians are are friendly. It's not yep, even they're very nice. It's not even all. She says many Canadian courts. You're the lawyer. Yeah. Who do you think, Peggy? Yeah, but I'm not a Canadian lawyer. I hasten. You to don't. You don't practice in Canada. No, you're the closest to getting this than any of us. The first thing you learn as a lawyer is not to give an opinion or any kind of advice about a jurisdiction with which you are not a lawyer in or familiar with. So no, I don't know. Um, I would be committing malpractice to answer that question, especially since we're being recorded. Ooh, ooh precisely. Point. Someone's going to take this video and uh, take what Peggy, Peggy says and send it to the bar. Against her in the court of law. Yeah. They're going to send she it to the bar. She gave an opinion about Canadian law. She needs to be disbarred. I'm so close to retirement. I don't give a damn anymore. <laughs> Go ahead. She didn't mean that, me. guys. She didn't mean Just, that. Disbar me. No, she doesn't mean that. You have to represent me when I'm sued. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Little's not what around at CFI anymore. So what am I going to do if I get sued? I can't because I don't have malpractice insurance. Um, CFI has other lawyers. Yeah, well, but you I don't know them well. Do. Young, smart, better lawyers. Hmm. Well, the the guy that's um, pinch hitting, will say for Nick, um, is not young. Oh, ah. not. You know him? Yeah. Well, then we'll be all right. I Lawyers are we'll like right. surgeons. You want somebody who's kind of young, but not too young. So you want the 50 range is perfect. You don't want to attach yourself to anybody who's 75, and you don't want to attach yourself to anybody who's 25. You want that. I have enough experience, awesome. but... Ten, 10 doesn't feel right, but I can't think of anything better. Well, yeah. Um, you can't have like let me think. I mean, it's an odd question to ask. That's why I think that there's it's well, it's you know, it's a questions about Canada. Of course it's odd. I know, but it's still <laughs> odd. Would they if you were asking questions about the United States, would you say what kind of evidence is not admissible in, in many American courts? Well, that would the answer there would be true. 
but it would be you wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't ask that if you're doing questions on can on America. Yeah, well, Canada is definitely not America. I know, but that's why I feel like it's a trick. That's why she's she's making a point that Canada is so different, I guess. But who well, we knows? pick the thing that they're the same with. I have no idea about UNESCO World Heritage Sites. I can't name one that might be in Canada. But we know numbers. Maybe we should go with seven. Which just seems like a banal number. I'm not voting against any number. If somebody has a good sense of a number. Uh, if okay. if someone said a billion, I would vote against that. <laughs> okay, I mean okay. Two. Yeah, two me too. Kat, you can close the doors in your zero. Room. I would vote against zero. You're gonna get. Okay, because I was just popping in to say, was I supposed to be timing this? No, what? we don't time. Am no. I the one calling everybody back? Yep. Like you're yeah, totally you're in charge. All this back. I did get a cheat does, sheet before I signed up for this. You know, does everybody? <laughs> the, do all the other groups seem like they're done? Just about, yeah, yeah. Because so, you get a so two minute warning, so go ahead. Well and call get, us back uh, then. Close all rooms. I shall close all rooms now, unless you guys have questions for me. No. No, I mean, we could ask you well, questions. We, we would like the answers, but we know you won't give them to us. So. Yeah, we know that you can't yeah. give them to us, especially since we're recording in here. We would never, never want you to cheat. Never. Never. Can I pause the video? We're all completely <laughs> honest. So, oh, she's gone. She won't get back to her room then. Uh-oh. Yeah, uh, I haven't gone. been taking their powers away from them. She's so gone and she didn't... Um, uh, she didn't call us back, did she? Didn't do the, the room yeah. close thing yet. There, we go. there we go. There we go. There. But uh, yeah, I won't take her powers away from her, so maybe she'll be able to. Yeah. The thing is that I think that happened to me record. twice, and I didn't figure it out until the second time that, oh, I can put myself in the right room. Yep. That's what I've been doing. Because it's just, okay, so why is it we want to pick this bird from Australia? Watch last week tonight. Yes. Because John Oliver said so. Yeah, and he ha always has a good point. But there he, might be other birds that are really good. John Oliver said so. Yeah, it's important to know that. Are you going to question the great John Oliver? Never. All right, I'll vote. But I feel silly because <laughs> nobody else is there. <laughs> oh, pick four more. Wait a second. Pick random bird, pick random bird, pick random bird, pick random bird. Can I put just can I put a real bird? You're you're asking as if we know. Wait, is it a fill in the blank or it says choice? pick random bird? It says donate, submit four more. Can I pick birds? Because I might pick a bird. I mean, there are other birds. Play my song. If he argued for it, there was probably a very good reason why the why the t -t 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 -p 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 bird should be the bird. Really but, awesome looking. It it wasn't really a very good argument, to be honest. It might have been a funny argument. I didn't see it. I gotta watch that episode. I know, then. but I don't want to sway. The, I don't want to. I don't want to vote if I don't know who the choices are, and I can't make. So is there like one bird? No worries. We're not playing for money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is, is Kat upset and worried about it? No, no, no. We, we were talking about different questions we got right and wrong. A little, a little we're not bit worried money. about friendships. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not worried about We're not playing for money. We're not. Yeah. Not feelings. I don't care if it's rats, mosquitoes, or ticks. I don't care. <laughs> Kevin's being generous I, to me. I question some of these questions, but mm -hmm. okay. Well, Fire. that's the skeptic in you, and that's a good thing, Vincent. Yeah, cat, cat, <laughs> yeah. cat, cat. Yeah. So here's something I didn't tell you and warn you about, but I should make sure everybody is paying attention. When you're writing your categories and you want your team to win... You should always keep this in mind. <laughs> Pick things <laughs> and nose. There is one person guaranteed to be on your team almost <laughs> always. Who is that? <coughs> you, Susan. Except so you for write the category, category so that Susan knows the answer. Yeah, but when I said what size does shoe does Susan wear, you had to take your shoe off. 
<laughs> See, Rob wrote his questions today because he knows I'm going to be on his team. No, that's not why. But well, by the way, you, you, our, it's, it's our team was not the high scoring there. team, Susan. You should know these things. So you want to aim the questions towards Susan's. <laughs> Remember one round what someone did, all the answers were Susan, and you still didn't get the high score. <laughs> That's not true. Yes, yeah, somebody did one where it was like Susan, every actress named Susan was an answer. Names. That wasn't fair. More on point. Susan. More on point, Kevin. I did Wikipedia and our team lost. Oh, but your questions were wrong. <laughs> but it also matters. Questions. It matters what someone's goal is. If their goal is to dominate points wise, or if it's to share a category they're enthusiastic about, or torture their neighbors to the south. That's, <laughs> she, that's what people she wanted to have fun with my That role. wasn't actually a fun category. We're going to learn something about the invention thing, I'm Susan sure. just wants to bring up her average. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> oh, and, and don't let me All forget, right. I forgot to mention this. Let's the movie trivia on Thanksgiving to Friday. <laughs> yes. Okay. Somebody yeah, else come up with a milk judge category. And you always oh. do categories oh. about time travel. Lighthouses. Do that on the day after travel. Thanksgiving because I won't be here. So that that's giving us a taste of our own medicine, and I think it's brilliant. She's very nice. <laughs> She's Canadian. All right. I, I did have some real softball questions that all the Canadians I ran the questions by said no, they're way too easy. So I upped the game a little bit. I hope that you'll invite me back. Let us know. <laughs> let us know whenever you get to those because I'm curious which one's the easy. No, one I about. scrapped them. Oh. Like I had, what's our nation's capital? And they're like, that's too oh, easy. Geez. Everyone knows yeah, that. I thought Montreal, Canadians were right? nice. That's, that's Vancouver, right? It's yeah, what made you think we would oh, know no. that? It's Canada City. Come on. <laughs> no, it's not. Just, hey, you didn't Vincent, put anything can you in here with, everyone in on with what Romano Dildo. Romana, can do I like what? <laughs> do what? Can, can you enlighten the group as to what our nation's capital is? Who? It's um, Boston. Toronto. Toronto, <laughs> Ottawa. Toronto, DC. It's uh, Ottawa. I know it's Toronto Ottawa. is the cultural capital. Is yes. it cilantro? <laughs> Unless it's, no, it's Montreal. Dildo, Newfoundland. Up Montreal. <laughs> dildo, Newfoundland. Yeah, there is a Dildo, Toronto, Newfoundland. DC. We is are so Canada? knowledgeable. My God, we can't get any smarter than this. Just one in, in Newfoundland? The, uh, the there's only four names. people there only one town. <laughs> they share one no <laughs> only no one town with that name. they have to check with each other to make sure nobody goes out of town i got one day i call tuesday no, there are no dildos in alberta it's romana <laughs> oh. the queen of canada they're all in washington oh, DC. yeah Romano, they're all in DC. Very good. Kat, do you have answers to these wonderful questions? <laughs> I do. Oh, possibly yes, hear them this night. We should just mute everybody. mute everybody. Someone should push the mute button. button. Now, huh? Shut this group up. Someone push the mute button. Everyone the mute now. Button. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Ooh. Fine. I'll be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I I was trying to figure out how to mute everyone, but I don't think I have that power. So. <laughs> Let's yeah, give you, you guys do. some. You do answers. have it actually. Do so it. Okay, in charge. <laughs> um, Somebody else did it for. <laughs> yes. Thank you to Brandy or Susan or whoever did that. Not okay, good. number one. <laughs> You're muted, cat. You're muted. You're muted, You're muted cat. Sorry, I hit enter and I was on the wrong thing. So there are 55 countries that have two or more official languages. I gave a plus minus of five on that. So hopefully some of you came close to that. I know there was a lot of debate going on. A lot of you got number two right, which makes me very happy and proud. Lacrosse is Ooh, our summer sport. I, We might have got that right. I tried to go for curling or baseball or something. Even though you can play hockey and lacrosse year round, this is how we split it out. <laughs> Number well, three was very I really wasn't joking when I said that you can play hockey in the summer then. No, you can play hockey in the summer. You just can't play outdoor hockey. Oh, yeah, you go inside. <laughs> they haven't yeah, year round up here. Gear. You know? They play hockey in Vegas. Come on. Right? All right, number three was very controversial. I knew it was going to be controversial, but it's not the telephone. 
The answer is Braille. Yay. Hey, good and, job. So I've given you all of the inventors who invented everything in my big long answer in the comments. Mm -hmm. And Alexander Graham Bell was born in Scotland. He had UK citizenship from 1847 to 1922. <coughs> he was a British subject in Canada when we were a new country, when the telephone was invented. And then he went to America in 1882 and became an American citizen. But the telephone was invented in 1876 while he was in Canada. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know he was Canadian. We had yeah. that previously. We had that information previously. I didn't know any of that. So, yeah. You're on trivia. And while a Canadian invented computerized Braille, the Braille language itself was actually invented in France. So By Louis Braille. Braille. Yep. So, hope everybody had a good time with that. Number four, apparently I'm going to give a plus minus or a closest to, depending on how people answered this. I thought people would be able to know that the coldest temperature ever recorded in Canada was on Monday, February 3rd, 1947 in Snag, Yukon. At Wait, we had to know the, the date? <laughs> no, you just have to know the, the, the temperature, which is minus 81.4 Fahrenheit for those of you who were guessing. Nice job, Leonard. Very good. Repeat, How close do we have to Celsius? You said minus 60. Will that count? Did Did anyone get minus 63 on the nose? We got minus 65. No. I got okay, negative I'll 62. do a plus minus of five on it. We said 60. Oh, okay. Good Great. job, Leonard. Hey, we get that one. Because <laughs> we got a bunch around that area. So if, if nobody was even close, then I was going to give the closest to, but people got close. So I'll do a plus minus of five to minus 63. Canadians are so nice, you see, mm. right? The questions were hard, but the answers are easy. I like giving <laughs> points. The only American I know who would have allowed that was Karen. Yeah. Uh, she's nice. She's yeah. a sweetheart. What can we say? The Kermode bear, a.k.a. the ghost mm. bear or the spirit mm. bear, is only found in Canada. Bear. So they're not real. They are real. <laughs> I thought it was it's, the A bear. A? The witch bear? A, a bear. A bear. So, um, so it looks very similar <laughs> to like an albino grizzly or if a polar bear and a grizzly mated. Oh, oh. so, it's so, got a, so a we, we actually said a, pol we said a polar bear grizzly hybrid. Is that good enough? That's what it was. No. No. Well, it's not really. It just looks like that. Well, that's. Yeah, you don't get it. It's not. She said it just looks like one. Looks like. Yeah, you don't get it wrong. No. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't get my but... bonus point for your round when I yeah, had Rob. nobody in my room that was in yeah, the answers. Rob. <laughs> sorry. Karen <laughs> said spirit bear, so you can't have it for polar bear breed. And it's like common bear. for polar bears and grizzly bears to mate. No. And, it's and not very Africa. common, but it happens. But it yeah. happens. They're they're merging back together as their um is that what they call environment it? is coming closer together. Yeah, as the so polar they, uh... ice disappears. <laughs> Carl is being very funny in the comments. He said do yeah. Kamo bears should... He I'm said do Kamo to beats. <laughs> I don't know what Kamo beat is. Oh it's yeah, a typo. typo bear. <laughs> it's not a type of bear, it's a type O bear. <laughs> o bear, that's right. Hey, he should get blood. That's pretty rare. <laughs> Oh, all right. So the physical structure hung up a lot of people, and I'm sorry, but I didn't know how else to describe it. Sorry. The answer is Canada has more lakes than the rest of the world combined. Oh, okay. They have approximately two we million of lakes. them. We were trying and to come up with a good example of what a physical that, that structure was a would pretty be. question last week. We said maybe it's... was it? I didn't know yes. that, Bill. But Canada possesses nearly 14% of the world's lakes, approximately 9% of Canada's surface area, which is over 500 square kilometers, is covered by fresh water. And we are surrounded by three oceans. Wow. That's right, babies. But I'm a landlocked prairie hmm. dweller. And so. all of what you said, Kat, is why we said glaciers. Right? I, 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 said I had to words. leave your room because I'm like, no, you're so close. You're on the right track. It's <laughs> fjords. <laughs> My Cured. face was going to give something away, so I just whoop out. 
What if they have the world's most glaciers too? I I didn't check that, so <laughs> the answer she is count. seeking is lakes. I let my team astray. I said Precambrian fossils. Ooh. Aww. But is it true? I don't it know. It might be. I think it is. They're in Yo is it Yolo National Park? Yoho? Yeah. Yoho? Yeah. You only yeah. live twice. You only live once. You only hope in the shale fields where Stephen Jay Gould worked. Oh. Yeah. That's, That's right. a very cool Jeez. place. Yeah. I, I wanted to go there and I I'm afraid I'll never get to see it. Oh, oh just I up. wanted to hike it, but you know, we didn't plan far enough ahead. You you have to book your hike up to the shale fields like a year in advance or something. Yeah, Why man. does she have to? <laughs> <laughs> we she has to. Wendy's in charge of booking everybody's. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> or you could come to Sacramento. Yolo County's on the other side of the river. I don't want to hike it. Do I have to? They, I don't, uh, don't want to hike it in the summer. Um, but uh, number seven. Groups, like um, their educational group that take tours. <clears throat> Seven. With people that know what they're looking at. <laughs> yeah. Alan wants me to move on, so off we go. <laughs> All right. Since 1976, when Canada joined the World Heritage Convention, 22 of our country's <laughs> most cherished wow. sites have met the criteria to be described in the UNESCO World Heritage List. There's 10 currently pending in addition to that. They'll have that wow. there in his mind somewhere. But 22 <laughs> minus. Uh, you know, Did anyone yeah. get twenty two? We got Bill yeah. got twenty two exactly. Wow, twenty five. That was a, that was a wag. Wow, wild uh, wild ass guess. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I was sure it was less than a million. Did we get half a point? Yeah, we were close. Because <laughs> <What's laughs> I was going to do a closest on this one, but. If if the whole group wants me to do you, a plus and you, minus, like we and you got still it are, you're doing you, yeah. closer. Can't oh. get much closer. Can't exactly. get much closer than dead on. We can't for sure. <laughs> but we can argue about it. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, how about the next question? The next question. How about is the next Al answer? Alberta is free of rats. I would not have even that's thought of that. I thought it was mosquitoes. I didn't think any place was free. Oh, we got so many mosquitoes. We got it right because I got overvoted, overruled. Thank you, Karen. Yeah, they <laughs> have all those lakes. Lakes come with mosquitoes. Yes. Oh yeah. We've got true. tons of mosquitoes. But um, I thought in the winter they would they would be die. Well, well, they but do, but then they come back, back for uh, the other gotcha. six months of the year. They lay eggs. Always cold, but I mean they don't have them on the North Pole. That's That's because it's ocean. Water. They have horse flies up there. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Number nine. I wonder if anyone guessed Wolverine. Yeah. Yes, yes, we did. Hey, why would, my team why would you need to guess that? Wow. <laughs> they know uh, personally. Some people don't know where Cold Lake, Alberta is. So Does it matter? Um, we don't yeah, see it's Wolverine. Cold. <laughs> We don't have well, I was going to guess Frozone, but I thought he wasn't that popular. <laughs> uh, Wolverine was uh, supposedly born James Howlett in 1832 in Cold Lake. Howlett. Howl. Howl. You had me a Canadian superhero. Yep. <laughs> and last but not least, the type of evidence. Boy, it was fun hearing some conversations about this. No idea. No idea? Well, I'm so sorry. It's apologies. They're not as allowed as an admission of apologies. Oh, my God. It that is so what? Canadian. Uh, so sorry. But now I remember that. Apologies. I've never heard of this before. Take it. Would you about. accept Fail. Bullwinkle? What? <laughs> nope. Did no, nobody got apologies? Oh, that's hilarious. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't get it. But it is. Sorry you didn't get it. That is so awful. We said we said lie detector tests. But so we we're also so talking the, about uh, Canadian, Canadian uh, repressed theme, memories. Or, we said the Canadian I legal system has been has been hamstrung <laughs> by their politeness. 
Right. Yeah. We said. <laughs> but I'll if, come you, back to me now. if you say you're sorry for something, you can't go to court and say, ha ha, he said sorry. So that means he admitted guilt. No. I can't even imagine. We apologize all the time. Okay. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have all these dead people in my house. You just found with me. Okay, right? you're free. I'm sorry they ran into my <laughs> sorry knife. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that would make. All right, let's do our know. scores here. Let's do some scores. Good job, Good job Cat. Good I know job. I'm Team Five, but Team Five, what's our name? Oh, um, uh, Ivanka. Ivanka's Ivanka. selective memory. Ivanka selective. Oh, uh, okay. You guys can see that now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can. Four. So Ivanka's selective memory. Four. Yeah, five. Oh wait. Five. Five. Yeah, yeah, I got five too. Okay. I guarantee you, we got five. Johnson. Johnson brings the house back to the Flintstone age, but it's not a gay old time. I hey. believe we got five. Group confirm. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, you're tied for first place. All right. Help elect Panita Dua, New Zealand's bird of the century. Uh, we we are continuing the trend. We had five. Well, look at we have a triple. Mm -hmm. We have a triple there. Mm -hmm. And Orcas four, boat zero. Five. <laughs> oh, it's a queen. Wow. We got five, too. Everybody got five. Yay. You got five, too? Yeah. Wow. I think that makes it. I always figure the average on this one. This is going to be a tough one to do. <laughs> is this a record self, or self formula was wrong there, Susan. That is weird. I, I had to break up five. some crazy I don't think I've, I've ever seen that happen. Dog. I've never seen that happen. <laughs> yeah, it's rare. Wow. Are they all the same answers that we all got right? <laughs> was it the same oh, five questions? That. Probably not. <laughs> so, no, probably not. That was good. We, Very we good know enough. it was not. I'll put you down for a I'll put you down in a couple weeks. I'm it's curious better, to know. Better volunteer and get started. Deep deep that got rats. Good. No. Yeah, we got rats. Karen convinced everybody it was rats, not mosquitoes. And I'm glad she did. Yeah. Oh, no. We, we, we all just took a vote and Gail broke the tie. Gail, uh, um, Karen knows her rats. <laughs> I dated plenty. <laughs> ah. <laughs> got them all numbered too i'm waiting for the book to come out karen should write a book about her life i that agree would be fascinating put the pre -order link in the brain. chat <laughs> all righty carl he's turned his face to the camera so we know it must be his turn oh my god <laughs> right. literally right. turn so i i have wait, 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 wait. Oh, paula is here paula's here well wait, can we wait, have wait, her wait. <laughs> she goes on. Oh shoot! They're oh no, she's on five. <laughs> awesome. Paula's here. Hello, Paula. Hey, Paula. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Paula, thrilled. it's Paula. Paula, you're oh. on uh, Ivanka selective memory, and Carl's about to give his his category in team uh, round four. Okay, so I have two rounds prepared. Do you want the quicker one or the 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 less quick one? Can we hear the hear the category? I want the well. That would be one. unfair to. <laughs> that would be telling. Almost nine o'clock, and we're that, all chatty tonight. That, that would be telling. Give, give us what whichever one you think, Carol and Carl. I, and I will be able to figure out. <laughs> yeah, Carl, pick um, what does it, what fits in with the tonight? This is totally different from what we've done tonight. Uh, something totally different. And well, now they're both totally different. Completely different. We're, We're not running normal. late. Are either time. one categories you've done before? One of them is, oh. one of them isn't. Let's Which do the one you not. didn't do. All right. We'll do the original round then. Uh, all right. In that case, let me adjust my screen here so I can easily copy and paste. All right. Now, there's a good chance nobody will actually know any of these. But oh, that's be, lovely. Thank you. But, for but it's, it's one of those things that will all be multiple choice. It'll be something that's fun to, to guess and figure out. And Rob, if Rob thinks really hard, he might remember that I mentioned to him at SciCon that I might do this category. 
Oh my God, you do. And he oh, studied wow. up. I thought he was joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Can I be on Caspian's team? Minor oh, league yes. baseball teams. I will paste for each oh, question five different minor league baseball teams, and you have to pick for each one which one is the made up baseball team and not real. <laughs> oh, for the dear. people that I just joined their team, I know nothing about this. 100%. You don't have to know, though. That's the point. <laughs> well, like you think we're going to know? Number right, one. Muting. The Aberdeen Ironbirds. The Hartford Yard Goats. <laughs> the Charleston Fowlers. The Wichita Wind Surge. Or the Toledo, Toledo Mudheads. So if I remember what Carl told me, this came out of my, you know, made up country western song names. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Kyle. Thanks. This Kyle. is a good category. Kyle. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, number two, the Chattanooga Lookouts, the Rochester Flapper Doodles, <laughs> the West Michigan Whitecaps, the Amarillo Sod Poodles, or the Beloit Sky Carp. God. Number three. The Albuquerque Isotopes, the Gwinnett Stripers, the Pensacola Blue Wahoos, the Canopolis Cannonballers, or the Roswell Flying Saucers. They would, have had to their name. Guy, right? they, they would have had to change their name to UAPs now, though. Yeah. <laughs> the Dayton Afterburners, the Modesto Nuts, the Quad City River Bandits, the Lay Valley Iron Pigs or the Lansing Lug Nuts. These are hilarious. Number I think these five. Be names. The Bowling Green Hot Rods, the Hillsboro Hops, the Bingington Rumble Ponies, the Oklahoma City Lawn Darts, or the Akron Rubber Ducks. Number six. The Tennessee Smokies, the Birmingham Barons, the Rocket City Trash Pandas, <laughs> the St. Paul Pillagers, or the Tampa Tarpons. I thought you were going to say Tampa Tampons. <laughs> <laughs> the Tarpon Tampons? <laughs> uh, Tampa tam Tampons, that's what I thought it said. Number seven, the Birmingham Disparagers, Birmingham Disparagers, the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. The Inland Empire 66ers, the Everett Aqua Sox, or the Arkansas Travelers? Number eight, the Ranchero Cucamaga Quakes, the El Paso Chihuahuas, the Big Fork Puddle Jumpers, the Montgomery Biscuits, or the Fort Myers Mighty Muscles? Oh, it just dawned on me. Four of these are cracked. Yeah. yeah, me too. I was like, I was thinking the other way around. Yeah. Oh my God. I think only one has to be right. Oh my yeah. God. Oh, good Lord. We're in trouble. Number nine, the Asheville Tourists, the Jupiter Hammerheads, the Norfolk Tides, the Biloxi Shuckers, or the Springfield Podunks. Some of these I want to be real. <laughs> and finally, the Augusta Green Jacket. The beauty about these is most of them are. The Cuyahoga Falls, yeah. just about outsiders. That's the Cuyahoga Falls, just a bit outsiders. The Richmond Flying Squirrels. The Fort Wayne Tin Caps. Or the Sugarland Space Cowboys. And unfortunately, my favorite minor league baseball team doesn't exist anymore because they changed their names a few years ago. So I did not get to include the New Orleans Baby Cakes, <laughs> which used to be an actual team name. The Baby Cakes? The New Orleans Baby Cakes. Oh, All right. Go forth and start flipping coins. Oh, I know you. everyone's liking my category a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yours is looking good there, yes, Kat. Kat. Uh, that, is, that is true. <clears throat> oh, good Lord. I want to go on Caspian's team. He probably knows half of these. Oh, 
It's Carolyn and Deborah and I. Yeah, right. <laughs> I have a die. <laughs> we can roll it. Oh yeah, I know, right? So oh, I'm pretty useless. So I'm oh, gonna oh, go ahead roll. and go. Deborah and I are gonna know these. <laughs> no, but I well, don't know any of them. And did you have a favorite? On each one. Five, 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 five. Uh huh. All right. Well, of... I, what? I I would think that. The wrong so some of them, I, you know, I don't know, but some of them are like not so much in the first one, but there's some that that are that make sense. Like okay, like West Michigan Whitecaps. There, there's a lake there, so the Whitecaps, you know, blah blah blah. Um, the uh, let's see here. You think there's a team like that's called the Flopper Doodles? I don't know that, but. There's like a Lehigh Valley iron pigs. So Lehigh Valley is in Pennsylvania where the iron stuff is, you know, mined. Um, Modesto nuts, right, Carolyn? You know, oh, yeah, we got the almonds. Almonds and walnuts and all kinds of stuff. They're Dayton yeah. afterburners. Dayton, Dayton, Ohio is like where the there's cars and stuff. There was another one that was rubber something. Oh, yeah, the Akron rubber ducks. Akron is where like good good rich or good year or something is. Yeah. You know, I'm just saying that some of these make a little bit of sense that they would pick a name like that. I don't know whether if Carl was making up names, if he would go that deep into the what the what was the area was like, you know. Okay. Anyway, so... my my two cents. All right. So let's just let's just go. We can do this. You yeah. Guys. I yeah. will we can blindly pick one. <laughs> Okay, so yeah. question one. That the I think mud hens and iron birds are real. Yeah, I do too. Yard um, goat yard, sounds nice. Yard goats doesn't really sound like a great name for a team. Yard goats. Go yard goats. <laughs> Go yard I guess goats. that's how we can figure it out. <laughs> the Go ones that sound Fowler. the silliest. Fowlers makes sense because it's baseball. And go wind well, wrong kind of that's not the right kind of foul though. How about that's wind a, surge? I the guess Wichita wind surge, surge. They, they probably have a lot of wind there. I would I think that would yeah. okay. So let's go with yeah, which, uh, wind. let's go, let's, with, let's go um, with B for that one, huh? B. Yeah. Um, reasoning it Chattanooga out. lookouts, oh. Rochester okay. flapper doodles. <laughs> okay, flapper doodles has got to be right. <laughs> White caps make sense. Sky. I don't know about. Sense. I don't know about sod poodles. Sod poodles. No, that, sod that's poodles. A we are the sod poodles. Maybe it's a women's minor league baseball team. The lookouts make sense. No, these, so these are all it's... men's official MILB minor leagues to the official MLB league teams. So the sod mm -hmm. poodles doesn't make sense because that's how do you. How do you yell sod poodles? What the hell's a sod okay. poodle? We'll just we'll it, pick it may sod have a poodles. local meaning. Okay. So we just do that one? D? Right. Yeah, uh, sure. Oops. All right. Albuquerque Iso Albuquerque isotopes make sense. Yeah. Um, it does. yeah. Gwinnett strippers, no idea. That kind of makes what, sense. Yeah. Stripers, stripers. Blue Yahoo makes sense. Cannon Bellers. Roswell Flying Saucer seems like it makes sense, but maybe they maybe that's just that would be, yeah, that's a good name. Like a trick. It's it too might obvious. be a trick. Yeah. Because you know when what they would have called themselves? The Roswell sock uh the Roswell saucers. Would they call themselves the flying saucers? RFS. Hmm. Well, yeah, I, you know, because the ball flies in the air. Yeah. I don't know. What do you want for three? I think it's the blue wahoos. Wahoo. I think the Although, blue wahoos. Although, maybe not. Sense. Maybe not. Maybe not. Because I want to I want to play on a team. Go, Yahoo, Yahoo. Yeah, they're Wahoo, not Yahoo. Wahoo. <laughs> <laughs> wahoo wahoo <laughs> yeah see that'd be fun to chant all right so you think flying saucers huh okay it's fine because it's just 
Nobody's going to know any of these from knowledge. Caspian will watch. But yeah, right. Quad Cities River Bandits sounds totally real. <laughs> okay, Modesto Nuts makes sense. Iron Pigs makes sense. Afterbirth. Oh, so pro- oh, Lassing Lug Nuts. Lug Nuts makes sense. Yeah. Um, Afterburners makes sense. Yeah, these ones all kind of make sense, huh? Hmm. Well, then maybe maybe it, they made sense, and that's why he made up the lug nut because no, it does have a little more alliteration than any of the other names, which which seems like people kind of miss the boat on if, if most of these names are real, they kind of you know they kind of missed a they missed a trick there. Have you have anybody? heard of the Modesto nuts not that we pay no. attention but. no but you would have heard them more than anybody else <laughs> I don't even know what our local minor league baseball team is called anymore didn't remember we, we have, had one for a while yeah we went to one of the games with and it was yeah. a it was a it was a fish I have yeah. two pictures with him it's yeah. one of those fish weird looking fishes sunfish or <laughs> flying fish no flying fish no flounders <laughs> you would never name blue. a flounder it was a blue fish blue fish blue gills no idea <laughs> I don't know. yeah see we don't even know our own team which so is have about, you have the pickles you want to just pick one so how about like yeah. the iron pigs because i gotta take off okay d so okay d okay d all right um hillsborough hops Bowling Green, Hot Rods, Birmingham, Birmingham, Hampton, Rumble Ponies. I love that Rumble Ponies, Paradise. <laughs> Oklahoma uh, City Lawn, Lawn Darts. Lawn Darts? Yeah. Go Lawn they Darts. Just, go. <laughs> it's a you want to go with that isn't one? Isn't that an actual game, though? Lawn yeah, Darts? Isn't that a game? That, it was. They well, outlawed it, What would you it, think though. of it? Oklahoma City, Lawn Darts. Go Lawn Darts. No, it doesn't fit. Okay, next right, we'll one. Put that one. Moving on. Trash pandas? No, come on, really? Would they call themselves trash pandas? That's really. Well, those that are one. raccoons. That's Rock another name. Raccoons. Yeah, that does make sense, yeah. doesn't it? Birmingham How about the Barons? Barons? That's really boring. St. Paul Pillagers, Tampa Tarpons. Yeah, no, that's, that's a, a, a tarpon's like a turtle or something, right? It's like a yeah. Is it? But it does seem to be rife for having being mis- mispronounced. Okay, so E. <laughs> like you... yeah. E. Oh. All right. All right. Um, um, seven the would be Arkansas Travelers. Oh, baseball. Oh. Disparagers. Birmingham Disparagers. Go Disparagers. Yay, Disparagers! No, it doesn't fit. Yeah, that I would say A. I, I don't yeah. think anybody would name a team that, so they probably yeah. did, but... Okay. Cucamonga <laughs> That means people know what words mean, and that's, you know, not a... <laughs> well, Rancho Cucamonga, I mean, yeah, earthquakes, so... Yeah. Um... Oh, these are great. Oh. I want to play on the biscuits. <laughs> the Montgomery biscuits. <laughs> that's great i want to i want to get some of these jerseys and wear these are great yes um, yes yes okay how about the mighty muscles or the chihuahuas el paso chihuahuas i don't that's that's weird because you know el paso is in texas and chihuahua is a state in mexico that's basically on the other side <laughs> and yeah. they do they do have a lot of cross pollination with the, that so, side of the border. So you want to go with the Mighty Muscles or the <laughs> Fort Myers Mighty Muscles? Actually, that's got it's got good alliteration. Got... Okay, so how about the Chihuahuas? <laughs> El Paso yeah. Chihuahuas. <laughs> Big Fork we Puddle Jumpers. Biscuits? <clears throat> Montgomery <Puddle> Biscuits. <clears throat> Montgomery Biscuits. Well. You know, biscuits and gravy, Montgomery, Alabama. You know, that's true. Okay, let's go with the puddle jumpers. The puddle jumpers. Okay, we'll do puddle jumpers. Just jumper. because we got to pick something. We and we haven't Even done though a it's a great yet. one. I, I like it. That. Is, it's a great name. Asheville tourist, Juniper, Jupiter 
hammerheads. You know why they have these weird names? Is because they bet mm. they sell a lot of really cool shirts. They have a lot of swag. I bet you anything. People I, are I like, always oh, assumed yeah. because all the good names were taken by the major league teams. Oh no, well you'd great. think so, wouldn't you? But there's Podunk, of names Springfield again. Podunks, Asheville Tourists. I don't know that you'd name your team tourists. Yeah, let's tourists, say A. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Augusta Green Jackets, Cuyahoga Falls, just about its outsiders. outsiders. Flying Squirrels. Tin Caps. Tin Caps. Space Cowboys. I can't be C. I mean, it can't be the Cuyahoga Falls because that's, he wouldn't have made that up. Just about it, Outsiders. Just, just a, a just bit a outsiders, bit outsiders. Just a bit outsiders. I mean, um, because the they're, they're just out. Uh, well, Augusta Green Jackets, Augusta, that's where the um, uh, that golf tournament is, and they okay. give them a green jacket. How about when they the win. flying squirrels or the tin caps? It, I don't know, tin caps, Fort Wayne, Space Cowboys, Indiana. Wait, wait, where's Sugar Land? Is that a place? That's in Texas, I think. I, I think know. that's near Houston. Oh, then Space Cowboys. Okay, then that makes sense. Yeah. Ten caps, flying squirrels. Fort Wayne's in Indiana. So it might be, you know, like manufacturing. How about flying squirrels? Richmond flying squirrels. Yeah. You know what? It could be Augusta, though. It could be A. Why? Because it's kind of, because it's obvious. You know what I mean? If you were going to make something up, how, how would you do it? You probably use chat GDP, I mean, GPT and said, give me 10 names. Give of me some funny, funny fake, minor league baseball. Fake team minor names league. Yeah. With cities as their, you know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't care. Oh, I'm coming. Carolyn, what do you have? Squirrels uh, or green jackets? I don't know. Which one's fake? Flying squirrels or green jackets? I don't know. Because Augusta would make sense to me with the green jackets. Um, yeah. Well, let's go with C then. Squirrels. Okay. No, All nobody, right. We nobody, are knows the, nobody knows any of the right. answers. So we're, <laughs> we're just guessing. Yeah, we're all even. Unless one. All right. Good luck. Hey, thank thanks, so much, Carolyn. Carolyn. Good, good thanks to see you. Okay. Yeah, thanks for staying. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> She's awesome. I, I told her she, she. I told her she couldn't leave and make oh, me yeah. she, answer all the awesome. questions I just by myself. Her. I uh -huh. love her. I love her. I'm so glad she went to PsyCon. That was great, oh, and that was her second time. Mm -hmm. She really had a great time, even though she didn't stay late. She came early, so she was able to really enjoy the um, a lot of the festivities and fun we had. Yeah, it was great. I'm glad she was there. All right. So what do we got? Well, let's see. So I have B D E D D E A C A C. That's what I got on here. Okay. We'll see if we got any of them right. Oh God. What a category. He so Rob and him were talking about this, huh? I, well, I, I think I was actually because I think I even. actually overheard part of that conversation. Oh, thanks. But... <laughs> well, the nice thing is, is like I say, everybody's on the even thing. So this is almost a random sort of, but it for, sort of feels like we might know it. But some of these team names, wow. Which one would you play on, Deborah? Oh, let's see. The what was my favorite? Puddle one? jumpers. I think I did the puddle, puddle jumpers, jumpers. Or uh oh, got it. Got to be the rumble ponies. <laughs> oh, that yeah. You, I could see you on the rumble ponies. <laughs> Only the kitty stretch. Oh, um, or the flapper doodles, flap doodle, flapper doodles, flapper doodles, <laughs> yard yard goats flappers. isn't bad either. We're picking the team we want to play on. I see. Yeah, I yeah, mud hens is nice too, but I think it's an actual thing. Yeah, I do too. Um, yeah, yeah, I think, I think I would do puddle jumpers. Or the flopper doodles, I like those kinds of things. <laughs> Just a bit outsiders, no. <laughs> I I think Rumble Ponies is perfect for you, Deborah. Thank you. you. Should get it. You should if 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 it's really a thing, 
Birmingham. Rebel I should, Bomber I should get a T I should get a t-shirt. Huh? I think you should definitely get a shirt. Mm. I think you should get it tattooed on your body. Uh, no, <laughs> you know, I did a fake tattoo for the party and it, it finally just faded. Oh, really? I mean, I didn't try to take it off, but it, you know, I was washing every day and it just, it just gradually faded away, which was weird because I put one on my cheek too. And that one just peeled right off right, oh. right, like that night. Huh. But the other one just more like was more like a stain that kind of faded after a while. What was it of? Uh, Saturn and a couple of like stars or something. Okay. It wouldn't be so bad. You know, what's funny is that Jay Diamond loves those kind of tattoos. I, I would find them and I'd, I'd say, here, Jay, here's one for you. Here's a, here's a bunch of tattoos for you. He loves robot tattoos. Now, I don't know why. Actually, I wasn't sure I was, you know, liked it or didn't like it, but actually it kind of grew on me a little bit. Well, it did I grow on me like, for a little bit, yeah, didn't it? it did. Well, it kind of <laughs> grew off me, really, but... Very but sure. I thought this is this oh, is yeah, yeah, we're all done. Yep. Especially since it was temporary, you know. It was like Yeah. The thing was is the one I put on my cheek was like a little lightning bolt. Uh-huh. But it was but it was red. It had some little things around it too. But when I you looked at it from a distance, it just looked like I'd put a big old cut on my face. <laughs> I just put <laughs> stickers. I was so lazy. I know. And they <laughs> stayed. I don't know how in the heck that happened. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. The temporary tattoos that were they were really easy. I was like surprised. So. People were like, why has she got a bunch of temporary tattoos in her luggage? Yeah. Because I'm going yeah, to Vegas, nobody, man. I'm going to Vegas. Most of them were butterflies and flowers, but I didn't use those. <laughs> All right, Carl, how did everybody do? Uh Caspian's team, I think, did pretty well. Does Caspian know these? Uh, I think he knew enough that he was able to reason his way into a lot of them. I figured he would be fine on. This. I don't. I don't know ball. if there's anybody that, as far I've as I know, they got all ten. Them. But they may have changed answers after I left, so someone could have gotten a ten. Do you think but anybody had checked, heard? Of, do you think any of anybody had actually heard of any of these teams legitimately? Um, several people had heard of numerous teams yeah oh. so, so i mean we have caspian. a we have a minor league team and we can't even remember the name of that it's the it's the blue fish people it's it's uh <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not even playing anymore so i don't know <laughs> it's their their blue fish they're they're blue fish yeah <laughs> i took a picture of the guy i know or a girl it's cold out it there too i that's why nobody ever goes there it's so cold there What, what they're city called, are they in? They're called the They're called the flapjacks or something. They're the some flapjacks. kind of fish. It's some kind of fish at the aquarium. What? Bill will know what it is. Our what? local team name. Caspian, do you know what it is? Our baseball team locally? Monterey? Monterey. 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 Jacks. Monterey Jacks. Jacks. Amber Jacks. That's Amber, what Amber Jack. Okay, it's a but variety. They're blue. So, so why are they variety, called? It's a variety of tuna. But they're blue. They're not amber. Amber and that... yellow are complementary colors. I suspect the etymology might be distinct. Wow, the fancy words. Aren't some of the all fish? The... All fish are distinct. They, they, they disgusting to stink. Stink, they stink. <laughs> After three days, they stink. They stink. I don't like fish. All right, go fish. ahead, Carl. They've never said anything nice about you either, Susan. <laughs> I know they. I I wouldn't think they would like me either. <laughs> so for number one, they have no taste. The fake team is the Charleston Fowlers. Hey, let's see. Yes. Let, let us have the letters. We got it, yeah. though. Yeah, please give the letters. And the name. Okay. Correct an answer that I put. All right. So, for number two, 
the fake team. <laughs> is the Rochester Flapper Doodles? <laughs> I like that name. Uh, I want to play on that team. To be. Or number three. Now, some people thought that maybe this town wasn't big enough to hold a minor league team, but I can Oops. tell you that it doesn't take much of a population to hold a minor league team at the at the low A level. But nonetheless. The Roswell Flying Saucers is made up. Damn it. Uh, wow. They do have a team. That's not that one. Number four. Invaders. And that's E if you're listening. Yeah, I'm sorry. E, the Roswell Flying Saucers. <laughs> the Flapper Doodles with B. Number four is A, the Dayton Afterburners. Damn it. Number five. The fake team is. D, the Oklahoma City Lawn Darts. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Which, that, that, that name came from, I, I knew a guy who used to be a, a firefighter in the Marines, and that is what they nicknamed the AV-8B Harrier when it first entered service because it kept crashing into the ground. Wait, you so, thought Oklahoma Lawn Darts. You didn't use yeah. the tab GTP? You no, I made it. all these names up myself. Oh, dear. That's Including the real ones. Us. Yeah. Well, no, not the, not the real ones. I didn't. Make, I wish I would have made those. Up. Number six, D, the St. Paul Pillagers. Nay. I was hoping people would think Minnesota Vikings, St. Paul Pillagers. That could work. <laughs> oh, good. Now, I don't know if anyone noticed, but throughout these questions, there were three different Birmingham teams listed, and A, the Birmingham Disparagers, is the fake team. Good. I they had a lot of teams. They just had a lot of, you know, Birmingham's big. Number eight, the fake team is C, the Big Fork Pole Oh, Jumpers. my God. Those are the oh. only two teams I wanted to play on. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine, the fake team is E, the Springfield Podunks. Oh, I oh. like that one, too. And come on, this yeah. one was just too good to be true. B, the Cuyahoga Falls, just a bit outside. I didn't think you would have figured that. I thought that was real. I thought it was real because I thought that's where that, that guy was from. Bob Uecker? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember his name. I didn't oh, think you would have made Uecker that up. You, you got he, me. So what was better. number 10 again? Sorry. The B, the Cuyahoga Falls, just a bit outsiders. Oh, or the okay. Cuyahoga Falls. I like that. Just, just a bit outside. outside. Girl, you should be making, you should be naming these teams because you have better names than the teams came up. I, with. I was, I was so worried that all my fake names would be so obvious that, but no, no, they but, were great. But I, I did pick the craziest real names that I could find in the list. They're pretty damn crazy. I, I put my list crazy. together. And yeah, then I, I I broke them up into group. I randomized the order of all of them because they started out in alphabetical order by city, and then I split them up into groups of four, and then just stuck in my fake answers to each one. So there's no pattern to which fake answer goes to which group of questions. Except the Birmingham was on. It, that wasn't even on purpose. I just I didn't wow. even realize I had two real Birmingham right. teams when I picked the fake name. So like uh. The Birmingham Disparagers, I came up with that city name because I did a Google search for lists of the rudest cities in America and Birmingham was in the top 20. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see how we did with our random guesses. <laughs> well, I, I we didn't randomly guess. We actually really thought it up, Carolyn and Deborah and I. We actually did think, right? We did. Yeah, we, we did. We did okay. eliminations and then sometimes I was wrong. Okay, I want to go with I want to go with that Most one. Last. Times. Let's go. As of now, you can be one in a million person. That means there's eight thousand people just like you. Hashtag not so special. The team I was on. I think we had four. Oops. Uh oh, did I turn off my number lock? Let me see. All right, who's playing on here? There it goes. No, it's not taking it. I must have the number lock on. Okay. All right. Then let's go. Orcas number four, boat zero. Oh, uh, five. Yeah. Okay. 
Johnson brings the house back to the Flintstone age, but it's not a gay old time. So with the team considering each one um, individually and thinking it through, we got six. Afterwards, I told Siri to pick random numbers for each of them, and Siri got four. So we did better than Siri while <laughs> random guessing. <laughs> That's good. Okay, help uh, this bird in New Zealand. Well, we did as well as Siri, four. four. I love how your pronunciation of... <laughs> it's it's getting different each time. Take it. I'll Eventually yes, get it right. Worse with every round. Okay. <laughs> Ivanka's selective memory. Nine. Whoa. Holy crap. crap. Oh. No. That's, the That's my oh. child. That's my yeah. boy. We, we so had proud. a ringer. ringer. I yeah. got rock. I so many, Oklahoma City lawn darts wrong because I got them confused with oh, the, something else. I knew he would know. I'm not kidding. Damn. Back in, what's, the, uh, what's the Boston Red Sox team? The Boston Red Sox. No, the the Triple A team. Paw Sox. There you go, Paw Sox. What's uh, what's New Jersey, which I told Carlin he didn't use. New Jersey doesn't have a major league team, so no, the minor league, the minor league team. They're actually the Philly. They're actually the Philadelphia team. The, um... What? What's the city name that they're in? Um, Lakewood. Lakewood, New Jersey. Oh, the Paw Sox. That's stuff. a really fun That's That should be the, the uh, Hindenburgs. The Paw Sox are in Worcester now. The the right. that, that would make sense, Leonard, but no, they went with Blue Claws. It's a kind of crab because it's a short town. The Blue Claws? The Lakewood Blue Claws, yeah. But you know what's yeah. interesting <laughs> is that that team has been, the, has been in the bottom all this round, and that just pushed them way up. So It did. Except yeah. that now Caspian jumped, is jumped going, over us. Caspian's going to be doing the bonus, and I am the mm -hmm. person on the team. <laughs> so let's yeah. see, did you did you select something I might know, Caspian? All right, all of you who are history buffs, yeah. this is category is for you. We are going to do name ten. Of the 100 greatest generals in history, according to the All Empires History Forum. From around the world. Yes. What? Top and 10? How, what, what time range? All of human history across all the entire world. Military so generals. Are, what? That's yeah, do they all have the rank of general or are they just high ranking military people? This okay. is military leaders known for their command of armies on land. You will not find Admiral okay. okay. Nelson, Chester okay. Nimitz, Curtis LeMay, or anyone known primarily for command in sea or air. Can, can you write this into the chat? I, 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 the list we, was created in 2006 or so, so nobody who was famous after that will be found. Some of these people were also political leaders. Others were purely soldiers. This is not my list. I had no part in creating it. I just <laughs> found it on the internet about 15 years ago. I disagree with numerous inclusions on this list, but as I said, it's not mine. And the last caveat, you are not allowed to select Alexander the Great, Napoleon, or Genghis Khan. Oh. Can we have mono rules, please? <laughs> we will not have mono rules. However, I, I asked on purpose so you'd say that. <laughs> yeah, because I am not a sadist. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That remains to be determined. Do the Are you sure? In the same manner that we do mono rules, it's just everyone gets a point. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So we have a list of 100. We just have to come up with 10? You come up with 10 out of their list oh. of 100. Oh, no problem. I got yeah, this. That's no problem. That's yeah, no we problem. can do this. Mm -hmm. As long as this it's not like mono random like the last round. <laughs> <laughs> except, not... for, except for Caspia do it. Anybody have any further questions before you go? No, you got it all written down for us. I think uh, we're right. All right. All right. Go to your rooms, which I do not have the power to send you to. No, you do too. Oh, it's because Zoom updated and did something. Okay. I gave you your powers. I know I got them. Okay, it, here we go. So everybody name your favorite general. General Zhao. 
I don't think that counts. Is he from Star Wars? No, that's the chicken. Uh, uh, General Myers. General. I think we're. I think we're going to think of more than ten. But I wanted to offer Philip the second, who was a great commander. He was the father of Alexander the Great. Ooh, Philip of Macedon. Philip of Macedon. Yeah, okay, I think George. He didn't, he didn't conquer that much. I wouldn't use him. Why don't we start with World War II and start working backwards, like Robin? Eisen, Patton, 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 until the Hun, Julius Caesar. I'm we can't name those. Back and... He said we can't have. Why can't you? Great, Napoleon Bonaparte and Genghis Khan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I said until the Hun. Oh, general, and then Hannibal. Okay, Hannibal. And Julius Caesar. He did a lot. William the Conqueror. Just just name a bunch and then you guys can vote on 10 because I don't want to. You're, do you're doing anything. good. I all I got left is Schwarzkopf. No, I don't know about it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just working on any general. Go ahead. Yeah, well, you know, I wish Mills. I knew the list from because we could say, you know, Ulysses S. Grant. We could also say Sherman, his famous Marshal. Sherman. Sherman's excellent. But I, yeah. I mean, they were important in American history, but really, I'm yeah, thinking I don't know. Of, it's an American. Yeah, I don't think you know, they rank that well. Well, it's a hundred. When I think of all of history, it's a hundred, it should though. be American. You know, uh, Robert E. Lee was a great general. Uh, Everything that you guys have mentioned could all be on there because there's a hundred. Mm -hmm. We just have the competition. Uh, Rommel. Rommel was considered one of the top. I guys. said Rommel. Yeah, he, he, yeah uh, Rommel so definitely was. Write it down. Yeah. Okay. I got it on my list. Rommel. Good for you. I know my generals. <laughs> okay. Uh, if we want to go back a little further, we can do um, Elizabeth the uh, first. It would be cool to get a woman on the list, sure. No, you know what? Henry the eighth. No, well, he does not. A, Henry VIII was not a was not a, a no any um, kind of military commander. Uh, but but I would think about China and Frederick the Great. Oh, yeah, China, Sun Tzu or whatever. Edward the Great. Frederick uh, the Great, the Prussian general. We have William the Conqueror. The uh... yeah, but he wasn't really. I mean, he had one battle, the Battle of Hastings. That's it. That's yeah, that was kind do. of pivotal to you know changing. World history, though. Wendy, I can't hear you, but you don't show as muted. Let's see. Oh, now I got you. Sorry. Okay, Sun Tzu. Yeah, Sun Tzu might be a good one. Oh, yeah. that's good. Jane, are you are you talking and we just can't hear you? Uh, I've said a couple of things. <laughs> I haven't heard you. Uh, yeah, I'm, this is not my category. You know what? I am crashing. I'm so falling asleep. My brain is saying, good night. Listen to your oh, brain. Good night, Wendy. Good night. Love you guys. It was fun. Good one. Um, okay, so what do we got on our list? Uh, what about we Caesar the Augustus with the... Hey. Uh, Caesar. Yeah, what did you just, oh, Caesar. Yeah. Caesar Augustus. Yeah. And Julius Caesar. Um, we could even say Hadrian, but I think we're pushing. He said that there were some people who world leaders and presidents, didn't he? Did we already, did we already have Hannibal? Because I think he was. Yeah, I have that down. Yeah. Eisenhower? Okay. I think that's well, a that's he a, not a land general. Who? Land generals. Eisenhower so, was. Right? Oh, yeah, sure he was. Because he no. didn't he say they might be presidents? Yeah, he. I, I mm. think I heard him say that. Oh, it says political leaders. Some people were. Oh. Some of the people political leaders, while others were purely soldiers. Oh. Well, In World War II. Patton? Yeah, Patton for sure. Yeah. Uh, Patton's number three on my list. Oh, yeah, okay. I wrote said Patton, yeah. We got more than enough, you guys. I have yeah. 10 written down, but I don't know if there were others that were mentioned. I have that... 10 written down, too. How many lists? Can we go off of everybody's list? Oh. Uh, it... 
I would think about China, I would think about Russia, I would think about Africa. Well, what's his name? Um, was it Chaka Zulu? Chaka Zulu. Oh, yeah, Chaka Zulu. Yeah. Would he would you call him a general though? Or he was a military like, leader and he really Yeah, I, I'm gonna write problems for the British and the Boers. Yeah, so now I have 11 written down. You know, I see I have Ulysses S. Grant, but I did not write down Robert E. Lee, so I'm going to add that. So that means I have 12. 12 now. Any great Canadian generals we should be Can thinking of, Vincent? <laughs> uh, no, there are no great Canadian generals, no. Captain Crunch only made it to captain. <laughs> I guess. Uh, only because we don't have... They don't do war there. True. I don't know if we have generals or not. Very nice over there. So I'm told. Well, no. you do. It's like, because there's always a, when I, you know, like in when Britain's in war, there'd be Canadian yeah. Oh, so that would take part, uh, like in World War II. They, they would all. Yeah. We have more than 10, but how about uh, Simon Bolivar? Great leader in South America. I mean, he uh, threw off the Spanish in half a dozen countries. That sounds good. I've um I've I am of absolutely no help, so I didn't write anything. So I'm just listening and learning. You guys have said most of what I thought of, and also my internet's ducking in and out with a video. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, well, sh so should we try to standardize our list of uh, we can alphabetize it? Can we agree on? Yeah, yeah. Let's let's do because we need to cut it and. Okay, well, who's yeah. who's a good who's a good typist who can put all? So I think Jane's keeping track. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I I'm not typing it though. No. Oh. I'm not typing anything. Should I type it? Do you want no, me to just, type? Just well, who, who can type well? I'm I'm like a terrible typist. I'm I'm not that good of a typist, but I can type it. I'd spell it wrong. It doesn't matter how you spell it. No. Okay. I can share. I can share the screen. Um document word pad share. Great, thank you. Um, okay, so you ready? Yeah. All right, let's try Eisenhower. Yeah. Well, I didn't have that one. I have it. No, well, starts with an E, but close enough. Oh. Rommel. Yeah. I vote for that. Okay. Hannibal. Sure. Lecter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, whatever. Uh, Julius Caesar. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Everybody agree on these so far? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, say I... Robert, Robert E. Lee. Mm. I think there might be better. We can put him on there, but he would be one of my ones to possibly replace yeah. mm -hmm. we did lose after all yeah that's true he sure <laughs> did he was on the wrong side okay Patton. yeah definitely Patton. um frederick the great if you want to oh i Fred? don't have it or what? Uh, what was he known for in conquering wise? Uh, kind of organized Prussia, did most, uh, conquered a good chunk of Central Europe at the time, but um, 
was instrumental in kind of developing a, an esprit de corps of the military. Uh, a lot of armies were totally disorganized and it was just like thousands of people fighting each other where he had definite strategy and planning and you know it's anyway um simon boulevard i don't know if somebody wants to i mean he was a great leader i don't know anything about him well that's they had bolivia yeah. after him yeah he uh yeah as as it was already stated he uh he helped free a lot of yeah, he, Latin American he, countries from Spanish, Spanish out rule. Of, yeah, out of South America. Um, I've got some other ones, but I'm not sure. I don't know, anybody else want to throw some names out? What's well, I have? I'll, I'll just complete the. I mean, this is way more than ten, but I'll just write. I'll just tell you the additional names I had written down that people had mentioned. Yeah. Philip the second. Yeah, the, that was uh, Philip of Macedon. I wouldn't put him Same as guy. high. Alexander wouldn't have been anywhere without his father already conquering a lot. Um, I would also add uh, Attila the Hun, I think, should be on there if we're not going to get Genghis Khan. I think Sun yeah, Zun Attila would, the Hun. would be meant. Just, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I want to go. The guy who well, wrote the book on war? Who? Sun Tzu, the guy who wrote the book on yeah, that? Sun, yeah, Sun Tzu yeah. is, is on is on this list also. Yeah, but um, he basic well, whatever. Okay, he was an he was an author of military strategy. He wasn't really a yeah. I I, I yeah, that's what I, that's the impression I'm getting too. He didn't actually right. conquer stuff himself. Oh, I thought. All right, let did. me let me throw the rest of these names out, and then we can start cutting. Okay, um, all right. Shaka Zulu. <laughs> um, Ulysses S. Grant, yeah, and yeah. William the Conqueror. That's everything I ha I think that will complete everything what? I have written down that had been mentioned. If okay. what about Charlemagne? Yeah, I was going to ask you about Charlemagne. Charlemagne would be good. Yeah, and possibly Caesar Augustus. And how about George the Washington? Uh, oh yeah, Caesar Augustus. I I didn't see that. I had not checked that one off. That's George Washington. You think really? Yeah, no, he wasn't that likely. likely. In all Maybe. honesty, he was actually fairly lucky, but kind of mediocre as a general. I guess you know but when he, you think about it, he accomplished. He got everybody so, smallpox vaccinated, and well, <laughs> yeah. But if you really look at, I mean, he's he, the he he was practically responsible for starting the French and Indian War prior to the Revolution because of his stupidity and in, in killing a bunch of Frenchmen. But whatever, I don't know. Quite an accomplishment. Yeah, I would, for, for the last ones added, I've definitely put Caesar Augustus above George Washington, because um, I mean he defeated a. Uh, because uh, yeah, Julius Caesar had him in his will, but he had to fight to. To become the first emperor, of the Roman Empire. And he. Uh, all right, so how many do we have he now? Defeated, so he defeated Mark Anthony. Down. Okay, why don't we strike Frederick the Great? I uh, I don't, I think that's it's kind of a one I like, but it's pretty weak for this list. If we got If we got to get it down to 10. I think I think that according to my handwritten list, I have seventeen, which means we need to cut. Oh, okay. So uh, there goes <laughs> one. He's too no, too far advanced. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Um, and geez, we got to strip a whole bunch of these out, don't we? Yeah, it, we should probably cut some of these American generals and think in well, large terms. Well, although some of these generals who who were on like you know larger stages like Patton perhaps should stay oh yeah. we're almost Oops, out of gotta go um all right let's yeah I would I did I I, I would like okay. list if Hello. possible okay I'd get rid of Sun Tzu because I think he was more of a philosopher than a okay yeah. um George Washington I'd get rid of I don't think okay. you can Poor George. Uh, Four more. Philip the second. I mean, he. It was really his son that did everything. I mean, he basically Philip the second. Got Macedonia, and uh, some of the Greek city states. But in terms of geography, what do you think of that, Paula? Yeah, that'd be fine. We need to wheel them down. Okay. Attila the Hun, uh, be good. Um, Two more. God. No, I, I, no, I would have kept Attila the Hun is what I meant. Oh. 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 Okay. Three more. 40 seconds, better move it. Oh, Three. <laughs> Just take off two more hurry. It doesn't okay. matter. There's a hundred. It's not like we're reading the top 10. Well, I know, but we've got to pick 10 of them. All right. Take off two Just more hurry. Just pick a few. Jump. Three. Okay, jump. Take off, take off two. Hurry, quick. Uh, Simon Boulevard yeah. and Lee. Go to, take them, go, go, go. Hurry. There you go. Go, go. Why did um, I just hear an evil chuckle in the bedroom? All right, Jamie, why are you nodding? <laughs> oh, I was up. I was sick all last night. That's why I got about oh. one hour. To sleep. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. All right. Was that painful? Yes. Yes. yes, thank you. Everybody, Everybody, had, well Everybody had a good Let's you know, get to so the scoring. All right, read all the 100 answers out loud. No, what I'm going to do is I want team one to pick one person to read their answers aloud. I will control F and find the answers. Good idea those choices that you picked as well that are correct and don't mention them when your team comes up good idea okay almost like mono rules okay well i have the list so i can okay. do it one go ahead william the conqueror william oh. that's a good answer uh, not so sure <laughs> no no, no. No. That's a good answer. Oh. My goodness. Keep track, Vincent. Okay, Eisenhower. No. What? Are you, sure you spelling it right? Are you spelling it right? Starts with an E. Consider that this is what this group of people chose, and I do think this list is reasonably acceptable. And mm. it's considering how much humans like war. Uh, there are a lot of generals, and it's a lot of uh, competition, so keep that in mind. Okay, our next one was Charlemagne. Yes. Ooh. Next one Ooh. was Washington. For 88. Did you hear Washington? No, he is not on the list. What? what? Damn it. Didn't think so. I got talked out of that. So I guess it's for the best. The next one was Patton. No. Oh. What? God. Your list right. is really peculiar. 
Yeah. yeah. Really well, he said it wasn't his favorites. Wait, I, I'm, who, I'm who dying to hear the said? ones that made it. Mm. How about Caesar? Julius Caesar is number 14. Yes. Yay. Yay. How about Grant? Grant is number 95. Oh, Yay. good for you, Grant. Wow. How about <laughs> MacArthur? No. Mm. Wow. Churchill? No. Ooh, Churchill. That's a good one. He wasn't a general. Churchill was a terrible <laughs> general. So was MacArthur. <laughs> okay. Lincoln. Wasn't a general. Hmm? Not no. personal. He he directed the troops. That was he said what he told us was the was the criteria. No I comments from the peanut gallery, please. I do have to make <laughs> one no clip. When you said Churchill, you meant Winston Churchill. Am I correct? Yes. Yes. But I, it, it was probably the first Churchill, right? It was jo John Churchill, Duke of Marlborough, was number yeah. eleven. Yeah, I can imagine wow. him being there. Lincoln. No. No, he was... Lincoln had almost no direct command of troops in the battlefield. Yeah, he was not. No, he did he have just, some he strategic did. command, but he... He hired generals. McCollin. <laughs> yeah, but he told them what to do, so... No. Mm. He ran the strategy. Apparently not. No. Is that your he list? Did. Whether or not he thought that was important is something else. But no. Also consider that he may just not have made the list legitimately, according to the right. crowdsourced group that created this back in the day. Yep. He was number one on one with a bullet. That was uh, too soon. Too soon. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> oh, We're done, Cassie. Next so group. Team that was two. three. Three points yeah, for us. the scores at the end. <laughs> yeah, wait for the scores. Team two. Well, which team are we are we going to go in like the order of low to high score like we usually do, Susan? What are we doing? We're not That's announcing the scores. He's just Aspian just said Queen Two. Who's the spokesperson? Team number two. Yes. Well, or... So wait, what was the score for Team One? We, we didn't don't know yet. We're doing it in a minute. <laughs> team we did two not announce scores. Or answers that were not already scored. Yeah, I'm really confused about. So what somebody coming. from any team. Give their answers. <laughs> right. Well, the teams were numbered. We were team one. We had the first round. We're okay, team two. team two. Who did the second round? What's the name of team two? They forgot that number. Yeah, I don't understand no, why there's the no problem. score for team one yet. We will do a score. We have a score, but we're not recording them until we're all done. Why? That's because weird. we don't know the scores <laughs> yet. I don't understand Rob, how you don't know the score. We know yet. our score. I know my score. Robbie, it's great. okay <laughs> that you don't understand. It's okay. All right. It's good. Well said, Garen. Sun, Sun Tzu. No, Sun Tzu's historic historicity is kind of disputed anyway. Yeah, that's what mm. uh, Sherman. Uh, no. Oh, my God. Uh, Attila the Hun. Nope. Oh, so. What? <laughs> yeah, they're all obscure Indian people or something. I don't know. Some Frederick, place like New Frederick Zealand. The Great. Frederick the Second of Prussia, number 15. Okay. Um, Wellington. Yeah, Arthur Wellesley, Duke of Wellington, number 16. Hey. Uh, and Blucher, B L U E C H E R. Uh, no. Okay, that's it for us. Team three. We got four. Why is it... We're not keeping score yet. Why? Okay. Um, was uh, was Patton mentioned before? I think it was. I couldn't remember. He was yes. mentioned and not on the list. Patton was not, not on, on the list. <laughs> okay. That's what I thought. Okay. Um, Omar Bradley. Mm. No. Mm. Mm. Americans didn't win World War II. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they didn't win this list either. Yes, sir. General Schwarzkopf. No. Wellington. 
We already well, we, got that. We, we, we said that. That's yes. correct. And that was correct. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I missed that one. Um, and then the other one we have is Kutsov. Katusov. Katusov. Thank you. Thank you. Won't help. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't see Kutsov. Just for the audio. God yeah. bless you. <laughs> okay, that's it. Everything else has been said already. Okay, team four. Okay. Hannibal. Hannibal Barca, number four. Hannibal oh. Lecter. Yeah, hey, that wow. makes sense. Four. Montgomery. No. No. Rommel. Better be. Erwin Rommel, number 80. Yay! Pershing. Jack Pershing is not on the list. Oh. Robert E. Lee. Robert E. Lee is on this list. Wow. That's just wrong. Lee, but not Grant? Him being there either. But... No, Grant, was Grant was on the list. Grant was on the list. Oh, Grant's yeah. on the list. Okay. So, very good. Right. That, that's it for us. I'm very curious of how many of the other things that I were semi-finalists on my list that didn't make it might be on, but go ahead. And team five. Uh, you guys said Eisenhower already, didn't you? Yes. It wasn't there. Okay. Not on the list. Simon Boulevard? 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 Yeah, I thought we took him Fox. off. I is thought not we took him list. off. Not on the list. Okay. Really? Hmm. Oh, that's too that's a good answer. Uh, uh, Shaka Zulu? Number hmm. 84. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's oh. a good answer. Yeah. Shaka Khan. <laughs> Caesar Augustus. Yeah, they already said Julius Caesar. I we think. said that. No, we said Julius Caesar. Caesar Octavian Augustus. Yeah, yes, yeah, that was Octavian. Ah. Caesar Augustus is on the list. No, he is not. He is not. Julius Caesar, his uncle is. Uh, okay, so that's it. We're done. All right. Um, I'm going to give you all the ten, just so you can see what you know what this is looking like. It was number ten, Subotai. Number nine, Belisarius. Number eight, Jan Shishka. Who? Number seven, Alexander Suvorov. Number six, Khalid Ibn Al Walid. Yeah. Number five. Okay, I get it. Number four, Hannibal, Napoleon, Genghis Khan, and Alexander the Great. Mm -hmm. What's number five? You have a link to the list that I can look them all up? I'm going to upload the document. I thought you said we couldn't do Alexander the Great. Could, could not. not. Simply the top three who were listed. He was just listing them. Oh. Okay. But we couldn't pick it. Oh, okay. That is their list. I would make some changes, uh, to say the least, but I don't have a good understanding of everyone on this list. I don't understand why George Washington is not on this list. I just he wasn't really that great a general. He was a good commander. What are you talking about? He started a new country. He was awesome. He, he I, you know, as a general, he was mediocre at best. Yeah, he lost he most of his battle. He had some good. Yeah, really this was about not general. the greatest generals who achieve things in life, like Lincoln and Washington. It was about who won the battles. Well, Lincoln wasn't well, a you general. You don't know what their criteria it, it was. was. A, it was yeah, about Kevin. whatever it was about in the minds of the people yeah. that made the list. That's that's right. <laughs> I understand that was in their mind. The list. We simply don't know what that is. Yeah. Maybe yeah, if we that. read the document, we will. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's go over to the scores and we'll see how we actually did. I guess I got to show you the, the score so you guys get all weirded out. <laughs> okay, here we go. 
So let's go with uh, help elect put the, put the, put the, to, to, to see New Zealand bird Three. infantry. Eight? Three. Oh, sorry. Three. I like the way eight sounded, but we're still in last place. All right. Uh, it's not a gay old time over there in the GOP. I believe we have four. Okay. Uh, Ivanka Selective Memory, Caspian's team. Uh, this one's a tough one for me. I think we got four, but I'm not um. sure. <laughs> you think? Yeah, I think I think we got well, we four. Got Julius Caesar, Shaka Zulu, and Rommel. Didn't we get any others? I have six. Six? Six? Yeah, I have yeah, Charlemagne. I'm not, not really sure. Charlemagne, Shakazulu, Julius Caesar, Rommel, Grant, Hannibal. Okay. Work is four, boat zero. Three. Okay. Not, hashtag not so special. Five. Ooh. Oh. 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 You pulled that I lost out. by one. By the, <laughs> by <laughs> his work. teeth. Just by hints, it's like a puddle jumper there or something. Like a <laughs> flapper doodles. Flapper, flapper doodles. Flappy doodles. Wow. Team number five came back from the. Yeah. Team work team the five. Depth. That's because they gave you Paula and Vincent. I <laughs> didn't do crap. <laughs> you must have done something. Very I good. inspired. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So next week we have, um, who do we have? We have, oh, shoot, I'm missing somebody. I need, I have Karen, Jamie, Peggy, and Adrian's going to do bonus. I need one more person. Carl can do the category he didn't do tonight. I could. Carl. It's all ready to go. Okay. And then the week after that, don't forget, it's we're not going to meet on Thanksgiving. We're going to meet the day after Thanksgiving. Who's going to run it, Rob or uh, Ben? And then the week after that, I will not be here either. Yeah, I, I, I had volunteered to do that. Both of them? What? Wait, wait. We're not meeting on thanks on Thursday night, Thanksgiving no. night? Oh. I won't be here. Nobody's around to um to run the categories. So we're going to go Friday. Uh, oh, I can't make it Friday. I can run the categories on Thursday. But if you've already decided... I'll dismiss Ooh, it. She could run it on Thursday, but how many other but people? No, you've already out? let it. You already I'm missed here it on Thursday. I'll come. I'll come on Thursday. I probably won't come on Friday. Thursday is when my surgery is, so. Oh, oh, good oh what should I do? We yeah. have plans on Friday. Oh, so you I have time Wednesday. to decide, <laughs> Susan. You have time to decide. No, I don't have a lot of time to decide. Oh, next week I can decide, huh? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. next week. The oh. Is it yeah. next week is my surgery? No, my surgery is in two weeks. I'd like to do it on Thanksgiving because that'd be so much nicer, but you'd have to be able to have the login for 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 the um Yeah, we're we're talking about two weeks from now, Vincent. Okay, so we've got it we've got time to now. think about it. You're right. Okay, okay so right. next week I have Karen, Carl, Jamie, Peggy, and Adrian. Okay. Sounds good to me. Okay. All okay. right, everybody. It's been great. I will okay. Alexander yeah, the Great. Mm. <laughs> right at midnight. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye, you guys. Good night. Good night. Bye, everybody. Thank Good you. Night. Bye. Bye.